Live streaming is on. All right, a nigga ready to go live now. Let me goddamn play all this. Shit. Oh shit! And I count down coming down. All right, I made it in time. Let me go over to this bitch. I see we got motherfuckers in here. Who we got in here? I see Abdias in here. We got Josh in here too, bro. Oh, we got Josh in here too. He ain't had to sing his redemption song. <laughs> well, shit, goddamn. Let me get, let me get, let me get the, um, let me get the music cue that one time. I made that up, bro. I don't know what kind of song he can't just sing. Oh damn! I had a beat ready. <laughs> I still had a little delay too. You still had delay right now? Yeah, I don't know where it's coming. It could be coming from. Tell me if anybody else had delay when I was talking. Oh, niggas in this bit. Yeah, yes, sir. Niggas in the um in the job waiting on you. Oh, for real? I saw I said I see people talking and shit. I was looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> we got some shit. <laughs> Y'all come we on. We got shit. <laughs> feel good. They don't even know. Nigga. They don't even goddamn know. All right, tell me if you can hear these sound effects and I'm ready to goddamn go. You know my corner. I need my shit. <laughs> I need them bitches. Like it. All right, where I'm at, where I'm at, where I'm at. Live stream starting. Huh? Still got a minute, right? Nah, we ain't got no minute. We here now. Now we here. Bro, we got a 52 second countdown. Maybe it's a latency. Oh, okay. It's probably the latency. Might be. I'm not sure. But I think I'm looking at somebody's screen right now, and that drone is empty. I gotta be me. I'm gonna, I need to fill myself up. Nah, I think that's somebody with a um little archway in their drone. Uh, somebody with an archway in their drone looking fly. Well, that's my dog, Abdias, nigga. We're getting to that uh, real estate money. Oh, he finna talk real estate game some more again today. We gonna, we gonna, um, we gonna, you, you, you know, nigga, Abdias grew up with us, so we throwing shit around anyways, but. We still got yeah. that option. I'm drop some more of them games because my girl Tooth was hurting last time. Now she's trying to peek in and listen now. Yeah. You go ahead and introduce the pod, man. I heard you have some girls waiting on us, man. You know what I'm saying? Episode 16, we getting along good and we going. You better enjoy it. Um, what y'all boy got going, man? How y'all boy been? Everything uh, called it. Like yeah, man, shit been good, bro. Thugging it, bro. School, like, he's still on the game, bro. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I'm, I'm in. I'm in it. Now. <laughs> School, like he's. Oh, you trying to switch the camera over? This is oh. joint with no internet, with no with no service. So I, I had to get right. All right, you good? You good? Y'all boys starting with today, man. Oh man. I ain't even rolling my plant, so I I gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta take the lead for me one time. I ain't even rolling my plant. Yeah, right. Yeah. Come on. You sound like to start off with a prayer. I'm gonna give y'all a DMX prayer real quick. Man, fuck that, man. Let me get my book, man. I ain't wanna bring none of my topics, but I gotta bring one out. Cause y'all, I got I got people waiting, and then. We just starting off slower than a jump. Bro, bro, people ain't waiting, bro. Go play the trenches real quick, bro. Go play, go, go play some music, but um, go play one song real quick, man. You getting permission? I gotta know if I have the permission to play the rights of the other music that I'm about to play. Bro, I know for sure you got the hey, right. bro, you straight with me. Yeah. You got the rights to underestimate it. For oh, sure you right. got nigga, I mean problems, right? Yeah. Which beat did you? For sure you, you definitely got, got problems. problems. And, and you ain't gotta worry about nobody. But give me that bit on YouTube, because I, I can't go to um Apple Music for my damn. What's it All called? right, you about to play it? Um, I think I always want to play it for my YouTube. For I got a plan for the I'm about to say I'm on that bitch now. Yeah, you smooth on that. I, I, I was seeing you on that last time. How smooth you was with the switcheroo. Yeah. So I'll be about? switching up. Well, you could really be a motherfucking forex trader. You got two two big ass dollars <laughs> in front of you. That nigga's stupid. I had a boy be looking for real. Though. I don't cap. I don't see the four screens. I'd be like, come on, man. Now, nah, what you need to put over there, man? 
Bruh. Come on, man. <laughs> what you need to put over there? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, bro! Damn, I'm stuck in this watch party. Man up when I hit when I hit trenches school. Oh, bro, so you put play a dollar sign, bro. Play it too, but go ahead and do your thing. If you find it, yeah, bro. Oh, you ain't find it. Damn, I'm stuck in this watch party. Man up when I hit when I hit trenches school. Oh, so you play a dollar sign, bro. Play it too, but go ahead and do your thing. If you find it, yeah, bro. Hey, what just happened? Oh, that was oh no! Hey, I got scared, man. Hold on. Yeah, we we actually uh, you know, YouTube right now, man. Do your thing, bro. Rock out. Hey, just so y'all know, this shit go hard, though. I don't care. I should have played the one with my goddamn beat, but you know, I ain't gonna be nitpicky. Yeah, that's my shit too. Six five four. Yo, what's going on? What are the plans? I'm really from the trenches, the birds that get to follow for a mention. Oh, they ain't fucking in without a blip. These bitches, there's a problem. They trying to take my road about the business. They hope they trying to roll me out my gym. Man. I'm really from the trenches, the birds that get to follow for a mention. Bates car clean without a blip. These bitches, there's a problem. They trying to take my road about the business. They hope they trying to roll me out my gym. Man. This the shit the hood learners what got us riding with burners. This shit a constant reminder. I be plucking my concubine and they say I be talking fly high. End up letting inside of me. She don't be second planning. She sip beside us some apple cider. It's appetizing. I'm good on them sample sizes. The sample size is important. Supporting the analyze. My brothers, we all immortal. Ain't doing no standing by. And when time to dive in that water, we swimming and synchronizing niggas. Like a swim team? I don't do the slim things. I just need the whole thing. Like I don't know what skim means. Probably need some milk. We cool them off. Must be the C9. Underage, but we ain't need ID. My uncle like a CBS. I'm burning like a CD disc. Talking about mistakes I made, y'all don't wanna see the list. But I kept a cool to me in the face car. I'm really from the trenches. Them birds that get to follow for a mention. Base car clean without a blip. These bitches is a problem. They trying to take my road about the visit. They hope they trying to roll me out my gym. I'm really from the trenches. Them birds that get to follow for a mention. Base car clean without a blip. These bitches. There's a problem. They trying to take my road about the business. They hope they trying to roll me out my gym, man. Good brain, high grade. The rest I smoke from the app pack. Fuck a bitch on the app mat. Bucking booty and fat back. Little buddy has stole my drum, but I'm thinking that he can have that. I run it toe like a half back. Center back, you can have that. Send around like a hashtag. You ain't know you was trending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I was just about to do that part. <laughs> I got so I'm covered, bro. I, I got him covered. Um, send me your own um, link, bro, so I can I can shoot you the song, bro. For sure. The link to what though? You know your number, bro. All right, bro. Get me lost, nigga. You can put it in the chat. The little thing in the uh, mm -hmm. box. All right, man. So what's really going on, y'all boys? We slowed in the nice. snail right now. Yeah. What's the topic for the night, then? I don't even know what to start with. We got thirty of them, bro. We trying to work our way in real slow. Work our way into mm. what? Bro? Back, I ain't hear nothing. Now we trying to we, we, we we're trying to get it started. We're trying to see what our first topic is. Yo, I, so you so look, so look, I'm a, I'm gonna go there. So you heard the WAP song, right? Definitely, bro. Yeah, so I mean, how do you how do you view I mean already we already got city girls kind of you know building a narrative for girls that, that don't actually look for like alternative information but like how you feel about like now your lady i mean or any girl that you be around listening to that and then they think that they pussy is that power just to get us to do what they want to do like bro you think this is my thing this is my thing because fuck all that really and truly because like 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 somebody was saying because i gotta be ready for the the counter attack it's been niggas you already know um goddamn devil's advocate swab coming right That's, behind you. Go Cause ahead. we got the whisper song. We got the whisper song. What nigga is saying, where do you see my dick? 
flaw on my knob, like corn on the car. Check in with me. Um, it ain't no fun if the homies don't get none. I mean, I can Come go on. down. Motherfucker, stop playing Come with on. me. I wasn't even finna go there. Hey, T, you, 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 you with me? What you doing? What's he at? Because I want to speak to something island specific. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, dance hall. Dumb out. I don't know where he at. He probably rolling up. Dance hall music. Fuck it. Reggae mu- not reggae music. Reggae music Bro, real wholesome. I'm, I'm not reggae, reggae music. music. Don't throw reggae music in that. Yeah, reggae music real wholesome. The boy's talking about God and liberation and all type of shit. Like, all that. Music. Man, come on. I love pum pum. That's all I know. That's my hmm. favorite shit. Oh, I'm finna turn up right now. <laughs> I'm finna so, turn up right now. The I want to ask is... Because first of all, yes, to me it is weird when girls do it, right? Yeah, but yeah. I still ask the question: Why is so weird to me when 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 bitches do it for a lack of a better term? I'm already bored. You can hear oh, a boy. Mm-hmm. But Why is it so different when females do it than from when niggas do it? Bro, it's the same. Well, I'm gonna let somebody else talk because I already got my my argument constructed. Go ahead, Josh. You spoke on it. Tell me something. All right, I think Josh has some technical dif- difficulties, bro. All right, I'll be Yo. you sitting there looking real pensive. Let me know something. Yo, I just jumped in. Uh, so what, what was the question again? The question is, I don't know if you're familiar with the WAP situation, the wet-ass pussy song. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or weak-ass pussy, however you want to acronym it. But <laughs> when motherfuckers is sick all this shit about girls having songs like that, how do you feel it differs when niggas got all types of derogatory-ass songs? I think way more than that, too. So... Why is it so different to the palette? I mean, it's it's society. Society like want women to like to be held in in certain standard. And you know, mm. I guess like I guess like you know, most I, I could see like a lot of like uh, conservative uh, women or you know church goers and say would say something like it's not ladylike or something like that. But mm-hmm. I, I feel like. We live in the new new age, like you know, people should be able to express themselves however they want to. Um, again, again, why not? Like, if they have that power, why not use it to their advantage? You know, that song seems to be <laughs> it seems to be popping right now. And they're profited uh, profiting off of it. I mean, guys do it. Like we profit off of it by talking about it. Why why can't women do it do it themselves? That's how I feel about it. That's, that's one way to look at it. I mean, I, I, I want to hear everybody else before I speak how I feel about it. But go ahead, Don Scoop. What you was going to say? Bro, I was I was basically going to say, it's all cool to have some of that. Like, we always had some rappers that suck, like Deep O.L. Um, they, they suck. Oh, yeah, they ass. Um, what the nigga was. I can't even, and the sad thing is I can't remember them because they so far gone. Cause their music never mattered, so they like out of here. What's the nigga name? Um, I can't even think of these niggas name. Pretty much, bro. The content is what's gonna get you some longevity. So it's cool. See, this is what I hate, bro. This is like when we sound like we was Republicans. Yeah. I don't, I don't support the shit. By the way, I'm gonna just say it, but I'm gonna say in explaining. In explaining it, you're not really like you, you kind of you giving me pause because I'm like, wait, hold on, what, what you mean though? Like what you mean substance? Because Name if you think about substance is substance don't just mean that it's deep as fuck or it's like goddamn. You know what I'm talking about? It's substance meaning that this shit holds some type of weight to whoever listening to it. So what if what they saying holds a lot of weight to whoever listening to it? Wouldn't it make it substance to them? I'm just saying though. Name the top three female rappers. I mean, if you want to go in my book, I mean it ain't going. <laughs> you know, so I'm gonna say like no name. Oh. Top selling. Hey, top see, performing. I, I, my, my boy know who I'm going to say. Yo, I, but, but Mike, top selling, I see where you, yo, I see where you're going with this, though, Mike. Top like, selling, I, top <laughs> performing. Listen. I mean, they're going to be all the ones that we're talking about. That's why we're having this discussion. I know that. Name the top three rappers right now. Meg, Nikki, Cardi. What you talking about? All right, now talk about the dudes. Name the top three dudes. Drake. Oh, that's hard. Drake. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. That's the first thing. Keep it going. You got dro- you got to drop Kendrick in there. You have to drop drop um, J Cole in there. Travis Scott. 
No, oh, be cold as fuck, bro. You ain't finna be cold as fuck just because your shit dope as fuck and I love it. Don't Lil baby. I ain't finna put you. Little baby would go in there. I can't put you in conversation. Baby. Working. The baby, fuck no. So I'm gonna uh, say top selling, top performer. No, baby. Yeah. You, you got wait, you got you gotta drop on um yeah, I ain't gonna say it like that, like I don't fuck with him that heavy, but I mean, man, come on, bro. He not to be putting him no categories with people. Top performing, top selling. That's all we're talking about right now. No baby is the hottest right now, if you ask right. me. Right. We got Drake, we got little baby. What's up? Drake, little um, baby. I ain't gonna say Kendrick because he ain't out right now. He ain't but out right you, now. If you talking about out out right now, you gotta put the baby in it because that's what I'm saying. Album, yeah, his album is popping. Polo G is popping. All right. Um, yeah, his album was hot. You name I mean, four different bras. Mm-hmm. Four different sounds. Mm-hmm. Four different brands. Four I different fan base. I hear where you going. Um, All that. I don't think. I don't think I agree with which on that one, Mike. Um, on which one? The sound part and fan base part. Like all of those niggas popping because white kids all listen to white kids think they're cool, really. Oh, and uh, he came on here to goddamn. You say that? So it's know, basically it. Like it's the same exactly. sound. Like they're making the same. Is twenty-year-old white boys with a little bit of different types of niggas sprinkled in. Yep. That's pretty much it. Cause like yeah, um white boys that like the baby, like goddamn Drake, and I'm saying white boys like Lil Baby, and I'm saying white boys like Anna Lee Chopper. Yeah. But before they but before they got to the white boys, they had a core base of fans. Before they got to the white boys. The white boys when you be, make it. No, I think it's the same. Cause cause um nah, 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 nah. You had to the white the boys when you make it. The white boys ain't checking for you till you got the base, and they're like, you oh, make that's, it. that's true. Uh, I would say, you know, like regular niggas like us who care about, like, like niggas from the South. Niggas from the South. Yeah. But niggas from the South ain't, well, I ain't gonna say niggas from the South. But J. Cole fan base is different than the baby fan base. The baby fan that's base true. is Lightly different a little bit from little baby fan base. And all their fan base got to be different from Polo G fan base because he's not even from down here at all. Either way, when you look at the female rappers, I can't differentiate from them. All right, but that, see, that doesn't end. That's, that's like bringing up a whole nother tangent of a point because the original point was, all right, let me put it like this. The female rappers, yes, it sound weird to me to hear some bitch talking about her pussy good this and she gonna fuck niggas like this and da 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 because it just you don't want your girl rapping along to no shit like that, right? But let's go ahead and let's flip it, right? What about the music these niggas is making? Not even just the vulgar shit, the shit about goddamn I'm killing niggas, right? And we talk about their imagery. What about the imagery of I'm we got shouts and videos and shit like that? I don't we've see spoken on it. We no, 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 no. on it. Yeah, people speak on it, but people we with a mind. Critique. No, no, no. I say people with a mind speak on it. The average motherfucker sees that shit and it makes the video more lit. Like, hell yeah, but you got the he got the Draco in that thing. You feel yeah. me? So how come they don't look at it and be like, oh man, what y'all men standing for? That y'all gonna have the Draco and the guns and the drugs in the video. That's what the point is. What's what's the difference it, between the females love it? Man, niggas love it too, but niggas see the guns the in the video. Females are going to the shows. No, the females um, are the ones who love it. They're doing it for the females. They're not doing it for us. Which you talking about? Impress me? Which of female rappers? No, he's talking no, about these dudes with the guns and the. They're and not the trying to impress me. In the video are trying to impress girls. No, they not. But they got them shit. No, in the video. actually, yeah, those, those niggas are not trying to impress girls. They think females they could not impress like they, no. They're, they're trying to impress white kids. And and, and other niggas. niggas. Yeah, yeah, and other niggas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, come on, They're not get... trying to impress girls at all. Female rappers trying to impress girls. Yeah. Oh, you know, said, another... oh, he just he just speaking on it. Them female rappers not even talking to us. Exactly. Matter of fact, they're trying to be as sexy as possible so that way niggas can watch their videos because that's all we watching. We we don't care about what they're saying. Just be honest. And females miss females fucks with them because they feel yeah. empowered. Like I was talking to this chick, like, like she's the least like. I want to use the red ratchet. 
like, but she's the least person like you you'd ever think like has that kind of sound on her. Like ha has that kind of edge on her. I'm talking about she's a school teacher, graduated uh, um top of her class in uh, um in college and and um and everything. So but class. she says, yeah. But she says when she go out, she's drinking. She's trying to listen to like all she listens to in her car is Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, and all of them. And then an obsession. What about the dude, right? Who he's a working bruh. He ain't even hood like that. He ain't never sell no dope. But all he looking for is Yo Gotti and Gucci Man and, and Young Jeezy and shit like that. And he just be riding around with goals in his mouth and shit. Ain't it the same shit? It's the no. same shit, yeah. I feel no. like it's just it's not because not... every Gucci Man album, every G fuck that, every Jeezy album ain't about one subject. Every Jeezy oh, yeah. hit, oh, no, wait, wait, five wait. Jeezy hits, and they all different. I and I'll let you go. If you just gonna look at me and tell me, you heard this man just told me right now. This man just told me that not every Gucci Man or Jeezy album is not about one thing. Nigga, no, they all about Jeezy. no. Actually, uh, Swab, Swab, I gotta disagree with you on that one though. I, I agree with Mike. Cause, dope, like if you every song, bro, every damn yo, song. Yo, now honestly, if you listen to like uh, um um. Not so much Gucci Man, right. but uh, young young right. Jeezy, like ten years ago. Doing every song and right now. Oh, bro, what's what, am I tripping for saying that? Or what's going I'm on? Name five Jeezy songs. Jeezy hits. Not even just Jeezy songs. Jeezy yeah, hits. Dope in none of them songs. But I think Jeezy, like Jeezy, my president like, is no, black. It was no dope involved. My president is black. No dope involved. And my president is black. He ain't selling no dope nowhere in the song. No dope. Man, come on, but y'all boys tripping, bro. Jeezy is no man selling dope in every song, bro. You tripping? No, bad, no. Bro. No, but but we talking about the overall message, like the overall message now. Like I would say, it's more so, about so, like, and like, the, entrepreneurship yeah. and shit like that. Talking about <laughs> get right, get right was no dope. It's a whole different sound, man. Y'all boy it's got a whole different sound. You gotta search in your memory bank and find you a song without selling no dope. Boy, I'll list you his catalog right now. Mm -hmm. Let's I'll get to the paper. Song. I will find 100 Jeezy songs right now with him telling me to go sell cocaine. Lost my mind. Lose my mind. It's a whole different song. These are different songs, bro. You can try to make it Dreaming. He made a song called Dreaming with Keisha Cole. It's a different type of song. You, can't, you can try to prove the point, but you're not really proving it. Yeah. On that City Girls album, they got one bullshit ass song talking about- Name all their hits. It don't matter though. It no, it matter. does matter because what do the people actually listen to? What do the people actually listen to? Check me out. Shout out to my what boy, do the people actually listen to? That when he threw this topic out right here, that this shit was going goddamn have us going on a goddamn 25 minutes with uh, men versus women rappers. Bottom line, women rappers kind of trash, except for when they're not trash, they be dope as fuck. So that's why you gotta still listen sometimes. Because I would have never, I would have never came across goddamn no name if I hadn't a goddamn just been like. But but um, so to you gotta look look at it that way though. Uh, female rappers that you're talking about, like No Name and Rap City and stuff like that, there are one in a million. But but not really. They can't they can't come out like like uh, um like um, not, girls who are gonna rap and then not even reference they pussy no, or not no reference. no not one in a million. Thing, because they don't get they, support. But would you? All right, all right you know what? Like Correct. if yeah. if yeah. Rap City or No Name. Came out like with songs like Cardi B and, and, and Megan Thee Stallion. They're not sexy. Like who? Who the fuck gonna pay pay them attention? Like they can't grab that fan base. Like they have to to and, do something and, different. And maybe they can't make a hit. They can't. And also, the music is very shallow. Like it's a shallow industry. And the and, same you saying that, right? I can uh -huh. say that these other bitches who just wanna dress sexy, they do it as a cop-out because they can't be lyrical and they can't make an album with all types of fucking nuances to it and shit like that. So it's the same thing. Everybody got to play to their strengths. And that's what I'm saying. About the WNBA? <laughs> but, but, all right. <laughs> but, all right, so you got to listen to it. Who wouldn't want to be selling, I like... I was like, wrong. What? Now that I'm having this conversation, I can see that it's exactly the same thing and y'all was right. It's, I, I was gonna bring. I was gonna wrap it up just like that. I was gonna wrap it up just like that, bro. The only difference is every once in a while it's a raw female rapper. That's that's the only difference. No, every once in a while it's a it's Maya no, Moore. No, that's no. not. I'm not, I'm not about no. to say. Every once in a 
Right. I, I think it's every once a uh, once in a generation. Like you had the nineties where female dope female yeah, rappers well, were killing it, yeah. and then you have uh, Lauren Hill who transcends to the two thousand. Oh yeah, then, tell me that Missy Elliott wasn't dope as fuck when I was. Missy, there. Come yo, on. Missy Elliott on. has always That's been dope. Six grams, always, six grams, six yeah. grams. Like she's My always been dope. Like she can drop an album right now and people are gonna think it's dope. My thing is, it's no reason in the world why it shouldn't be another Lauren Hill by now. Like, as much as people don't wanna say it, like it's other people that you can try to put up there with Pop or Biggie or Jay right now. And it's always been those people and it come, they come and then another person come and it might be like three or four at the same time at any given point. And that's my thing with the female rappers. Like, they way more talented than what they put on for. And I just think we got to demand more. Sometimes you got to demand more. Mm. I, I agree with that. But when you're thinking about it, though, like, it's 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 just business decisions that are being made. Like, that's that's all it is. That's, that's, that's what sells right now. Unfortunately, you know, People just want to be entertained, like, and those type of music are not as entertaining to the mass, and right. they won't sell out because you're not selling albums. Nobody buy albums anymore. You got to sell out the merch. You got to sell out the stadiums and stuff to to make the real money, and that's what the labor, uh, the the uh, you know uh, record company is trying to push right now. Whoever can sell merch and, and sell um sell tickets, that's a fact. And, that's that's the reason why you don't you don't see a lot of there's a bunch of them out there. Yeah, he on he on that bit telling us we making some good points and shit. My boy been in there. Um, my boy been in there giving us some commentary and shit. Bro, what's up with um one of our other bros? You straight over there, bro? Maybe he don't know he's not straight. Yeah, we just don't want to jump into the conversation and jump out. I right, just make it just make it see y'all straight. Yeah. Nah, bro, we in here like a motherfucking swim, like, like like a fat bit wearing um a swimsuit. Um, topic, but that's why I see the party so damn long. Cause we be so damn long winded on the little small shit. Hey, that's that. Hey, that's why it's supposed to go so long. This ain't no small shit. It's a big shit. Hey, but y'all always going in, and y'all was. I don't know if y'all was saying it was okay. What y'all was saying? Oh no, nah, ain't nobody said it was okay. I was just trying to see. That's why I didn't want to get T on here. I knew how he was gonna go ham. <laughs> uh, I ain't say it was okay. I was just saying I struggled to see the argument motherfuckers have. I have my own argument for why it's not okay, mm -hmm. but I. Don't, if niggas just juice away so they can use my shit. Wait, what was I, the argument? About the, the WAP, right? Yeah, yeah about the WAP. strictly WAP right now. No, Look. what is the argument about the WAP? What yeah, is what it? Get your opinion. So too. I was trying to compare the dudes to the females. The females. And I just made it. And, made and a can't, case. Can't no, 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 nothing clear as to why it's so different. So let me let me frame it again in case you weren't listening. So check me out. No, I heard you, but go ahead frame it because it's, it's important for niggas to rehear it. All right, so let, me, let niggas rehear it. So the WAP, it's degrading as fuck. Of course, we know it's crazy. I know it's unladylike, but in hearing how motherfuckers is saying it's unladylike, it make me ask, right? Mm -hmm. so not so, because they they outrage at the principle and the morals and all that type of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So why I can see a ass of people sharing a video of a sixteen year old nigga with fucking goals in his mouth and fucking guns there, well, and goddamn, oh come here real quick, let me show you on the part. And that be propagated. Oh, he got show you. What I told Swab is we go at them. And it's been going at publicly. Yo, <laughs> shout out, Yo. OG. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Everything good. Everything good? What you needed? Yeah, that's Swab, nigga. That's <laughs> <laughs> Swab. What you needed? You gonna be a grown ass nigga? Yeah, all right. Yeah, definitely gotta holler, man. All right, come on. I'll do it. I'm pardoned. Damn, I'm about to rip this this paper for sure. It's virtually impossible not to rip this one. Yeah, what? Wetter than God. Yeah, bro. Swab, I can't let you. Okay, just make wait. It look so, like we only can we go please understand what is the foulness yeah. in the music video? What's going on? I feel we like. We ain't talking about a video. No, I feel like Swab was trying to, like, like uh, um. Ask this. Check me out. If you can let it be okay, right, for mm -hmm. a nigga to be dumb young as fuck, nigga ain't even grown yet, and he could be, and he could be in there 
selling dope. You know what I'm saying? He could be fucking hoes. He could be, you know what I'm saying? Doing all the type you want to do. And it's propagated shit. as okay by majority okay. of America. Right. Black right. America. Exactly. They don't see nothing wrong with it. Nothing morally wrong. Nothing, nothing about that. But whenever a female does something that you don't like, it's like a bunch of outlash from girls and dudes. It ain't just dudes I'm seeing. I, I disagree with that. I feel like the same people that find it offensive with the WAP John are the same people that find it offensive when they see guns and hey, just demeaning hey, 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 the depictions reason, of the black community. The reason why I'm gonna agree with that is because they always saying that these old niggas ain't fucking with these young niggas. I don't know who fucking with these young niggas. I have never fucked with one of these young niggas. No, I know it's white, white kids, white, white kids, kids for sure. <laughs> that's our fan base. Like, yeah, you should play the Tyler yeah. Creator song. <laughs> the people who call out the goddamn niggas with the guns and shit, mm -hmm. those are people with a thinking mind, bro. Those are people who just critically Ooh, think. I see what you're saying. The difference between the WAP. Keep on going. Now, the people who call girls out for WAP, it's niggas who I know. I know for a fact. Nigga, you ain't thinking about shit, bro. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's cool to shit on bitches, bro. It's just cool to just be like, look at these bitches, bro. Man, this nigga ain't think about shit critically ever. Don't give me that shit, nigga. They ain't their own opinion, damn near. Bro, I'm so confused but, right now, though, because I'm really trying to figure out why does everyone think it's foul? Well, uh, I could start off because, like I said, I didn't hear. I'm, 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 like, you, I, bro, that music is so hard for me to listen to. Like, the I, I only thing that I know people to be upset about is the fact that there was a cameo by Kylie Jenner, and they feel like she's a cultural uh, appropriator. See, see I, don't, I don't see, think none of us see. on the podcast said about that, but keep on going. So, what you saying? None of us are upset about that. So, we what are they upset about? Social media. What I'm seeing is a lot of people are upset. That the song is too vulgar. They're basically saying it's bringing women down in standards, and everybody's going to be doing. So, what is the difference between the city girls? Why wasn't this outcry for the city girls? They the city girls suck. are propagating the same thing. They so song suck. You're, you're arguing now an offshoot of my point. That's what I'm saying. Why is it so selective? With so you and so you and, huh, you and Swab arguing the same. Point. Okay, I'm about to admit the reason why I think it's selective because a lot of females are here with dry pussies, and I feel like females are like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, that's random. That's that's random. But me and Scoop, what what what, what, Scoot, what, yeah, what they, me and you got to say? They saw us suck, bro. They literally, she literally say, drop it down, down, down for this wet ass pussy. It's like, what the? What are you talking about? So that's the problem. The problem is for sure, girls wrote this song. Little Yachty is an artist, and he wrote that song for the City Girls. That's <laughs> always that song was actually a good song. It's you can listen to that. Yeah, it's, it's something creative. That WAP, I I heard this lady out her mouth say, I can't cook, I can't clean. But I got me a husband of some stupid shit she said. And I'm like, hold on, you married the offset. When you the one going through all that weird little marriage cheat, like, like that's what you get over there. Like, I, like the reason why I'm not hating on it, I don't give a fuck about women fucking with. It. I'm trying to tell you, those women that fuck anybody that don't see nothing super wrong with it, they don't really get the, the point. It's just like saying, like, it ain't nothing wrong with doing porn. It's niggas that do porn. Cool, do that shit. I'm just telling you that none of y'all get married. If y'all want to do that shit. I have no problem, bro. I have no problem with nobody want to be a lonely ass, God, whatever shots. the fuck. So what? Okay, what? so you're saying oh, right. be, because the yeah, lyrics were possibly a little bit better in City Girls, like that's why it wasn't much of a no. Cry? It's a better song. The City Girls song was wrote by Yachty. It was a good song. It was an actual good song. I don't know if you ever listened to it, but it was a good song. Like it ain't. Uh, Which song are you talking about? Nah, nah, nah. Act up. Act up. Bro, did you hear the verse that the little bitch jumped? Matt, bro, did you hear the verse the little bitch jumped on there? The verse that Yachty wrote. Yeah. That's the hardest shit, bro. That's the hardest niggas know, bro. The I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I didn't listen to it. Man, so I don't really like that bitch. Give a fuck by the nigga, nigga. <laughs> big bro, big bro. Big bad. Oh, five, six, big. Ah, nigga, nigga. What is this? Marks on ass, so she called that pussy tigger, bro, bro. And that's my thing. Like, when they shot that video, I was like, oh. oh. Babe, but the video they had on clothes like it was it was body suits. It was like one piece body suit, and the song was the song wasn't. Hey, I got a wet ass pussy. Wait, hold on. Act up, you don't get smacked up. Wait, wait were they naked in the oh, Cardi B video? I, I, see, I didn't I'm watch the you. video. I heard the lyrics. Go ahead, Swap. Motherfucking Meg The Stallions. She got two verses where she come off of Cardi B's bullshit, and mm -hmm. exactly. I, I love rap. I love oh, rap. Meg The Stallion went hard on that rapping shit. She did. Okay, fine. I got some right, more. Let, let me pull up the lyrics because I haven't. Let, let me pull up. We're showing y'all walk to me. Check out the lyrics. Don't play, don't, play, don't play none of that shit right now. Nah, don't play it, but definitely nah, pull it. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Just mute yourself, bro. 
Yeah, yeah mutual public right. play. So I'm not gonna listen to it. I'm just gonna read the lyrics. But you gotta oh, hear it, bro, because you gotta hear. Because Cardi B delivery is poor. Also, right, Cardi, right. B, let, Cardi let B got the worst delivery. Like, give, give me about five minutes. All right, it's, it's the Y'all same do every it. time, and she don't try to adjust to the nothing. It's no, she's terrible. a bad artist, bro. It's she cannot terrible. rap, bro. She cannot rap, bro. She's it's terrible, terrible, bro, at music. Let me ask you this, T. What's up? <laughs> women, women who make an uh, ass of money, right? Mm-hmm. On OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking about the ass of money, though. I ain't talking about the bum bitches who got their link up there. They trying to discount it now because ain't nobody clicking on it. I'm talking about the bitches who on there making money, right? Mm-hmm. Female. Bad. I can't have it. I don't mean bitches derogatorily. That's just how I talk. Mm-hmm. I'm, I make anyway. Are these bitches hustlers or are these bitches prostitutes? Look, so I, I'm trying to tell you the only thing within that world is that men are the consumer. That's the only problem with the dating world. Those women could be hustlers, bro. They, they, they hustlers. But so, no, no man of value wants a woman hustling her body. So those women always end up with fucking lames. Like Nicki Minaj, her baby daddy is some nigga we don't know about. Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj, right? No, her baby daddy a pedophile, bro. He's some random ass nigga. I'm trying to show you he like a, what you he get. Not a pedophile, bro. This is That's what you thing. get. He's not a pedophile. He might not be a pedophile, but he got weird cases with kids. I don't know if you. I don't know if you. Nah, I don't know if you've been. He's a weird offender. case with kids. Bro, he's a he registered was, sex offender. Bro, go go do your research on him right he now. Six, he was sixteen. Hey, you can he, say he was sixteen. It was a pedophile. It was an aggressive rape charge, but it wasn't hey, no pedophilia. Hey, matter of fact, just, just me on the podcast. I don't stand up for aggressive rape charges. I can't even no, say I don't that. Either, but it's it's different from pedophilia. I, all right, so what's the pedophilia? Because I, I, I know if you're underage and the female is under a certain age, that's when it's called pedophilia. Nah, it so, wasn't that, though. What, His what was charges it? Is, it was like a, a let, aggravated rape, bro. Let, let I looked me, it up and I looked up the ages. This happened when he was 16. Are you defending to me aggravated rapes? Hey, no, it's different hey, from school, pedophilia. School, because school, even, people it, look at him as a grown man that touched little kids, but that wasn't the case. Hey, hey even worse than that, this is the nigga that's married to Nicki Minaj? That's the nigga that's married to Nicki Minaj. I'm the just trying to show you what he was 16. I'm just trying. No, no. It, 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 you, see, that's the thing. We can have the argument or not have the argument. I'm telling you that he's nobody even in the business world to this day. I'm just telling you no, that no, this no, is Nicki no, Minaj. Nobody. He's nobody. And I'm saying this is Nicki Minaj. I'm trying to figure out like where do like Megan Thee Stallion I, and, and Cardi B go? Megan is like Nicki Minaj can rap. Like Nicki Minaj can rap rap. Right. See, I see where you're coming from. What you're saying is, mm-hmm. how come all the other bitches of her stature, man, I got to get out of that habit, because now that I hear y'all saying it, it sounds bad to my ears. Like, Alicia anyway. Keys is with Swiss. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Keys, Swiss Beats. You see, mm-hmm. you, you know where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Y'all with it, Jay, right? uh-huh, uh-huh. Cat, cat them yeah, bag them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, Goddamn, let's just even say Amber Rose had them bagged up with Wiz and Kanye. Hey, let's just say Amber Rose because she was not moving like that publicly. Wiz hater. You got to think about it, right? Mm-hmm. With it heavy, but just think about it. So it's a certain level or a certain amount of shit that you got to have not done. Even even though all them bitches just a wild shit, mm-hmm. it's a certain level you got to not cross for a nigga with something to lose, some type of stature. To High be value like, men. Exactly, a nigga with some type of stature. Even if he ain't high value yet, if he aspires to be high, high value, he gonna always think about that in the future. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Well, even niggas like that, any nigga of, of any type of stature. Hold on, not- high value don't got nothing to do with money. High value has to do with your moral compass and your actual oh, makeup bad. and self respect. Then, then I was sizing you, my bad. bad. I didn't yeah, have to I would consider you a high value man, to be honest. Anybody that anybody that's money. able to anybody have with- a conversation, nigga, and lead a family, bro. That's why. That's why I shout out that petty dude. I I didn't want to disrespect them, but I'm saying that's Nicki Minaj's husband. And like, if we look at his track record, it's like, come on, like, like yeah, go ahead. Bad. You just made me think of it. I, I had to get on myself, like, because I be reflected in my own mind sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. I had to get on myself sometimes when you get like sorry for people, right? And I didn't got myself a little station in life, and I'd be like, kind of like, not on purpose, but you just see somebody somewhere, like a nigga at the bus stop or some shit, and you kind of remember you being right there, and yeah. like you. Like, be like, damn, bro, he need to get his shit together and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But that's you portraying like your own feelings on breast situation. You don't know if he got damn happy to be out of jail and he just like, ah, damn, boy, it's a good ass day. I did bitch, what? Uh, or his car just broke down, or you know what I'm saying? You don't even know if he just want to ride the bus today. Like, 100%. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. oh, I was just thinking about that shit. My bad. Go ahead, though. Or you were in store or on the Wawa app. Stop that shit. That Oh yeah, bro. So that that was my only um, problem with that shit, bro. Like I said, I ain't really go in depth with it, but 
like me listening to the lyrics and me listening to what she's saying, I'm like, okay, cool. I have no like me personally, I have no problem with none of that, bro. But you're married to offset. Offset might be a dude in the future, but you married to offset, bro. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's what you wanted, but I'm just talking about the value that those women always get. Right. The thing is, women say man love porn stars and pussy. Why the fuck all porn stars married to bum ass niggas? Why it don't even work out with them bum ass niggas, bro? That's bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, bro. The world does not like. Uh, eventually, man. gonna be like, hold on, bro. Come on now, like it's enough. Cause, cause even even like a a, a bitch who a simp, right? A girl who's a simp who's mm-hmm. doing stuff for a nigga who don't really love her. Even eventually, her one day she be's like, you know what, nigga, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So that shit don't like sustain itself, bro. No, nah, bro. I'm trying to tell you, none of that shit is gonna last, bro. None of that shit is good. But the thing is, with women, bro, they just have to understand that man is always the consumer. On the other end, like, women not really the consumer. They can set the standards. But as far as a nigga that's really going out here looking for a woman and he want a woman a certain way, that's the consumer. That's how man is. Brad commented something. He said something about Tony Braxton. Did Tony Braxton marry a nigga who ain't had no money or some shit? Mm. Oh, Vince? That's the one that married Vince? I don't know, but I think... I think oh, her, man. man. That's, that's hey, what I, 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 I was about to say, not Tony Tamar. Oh, no. Tony I, married I Burn, he, man. I guess he meant Tony Braxton in the fact that she also married, like, a nigga with some shit going. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, that, that, that makes sense then. Like, I'm trying to tell you, any of... And I'm, I, I, this is how I'm going to look at it. Anybody that carry their stuff like a woman, bro, I understand, the, I understand the music game is weird, bro. But if you carry yourself like a woman, bro, the, the, what you avail yourself, bro, is those higher value men, bro. Like, niggas, like, like, bro, just think about the way we can come on the podcast and just politic about like, some common shit. Like, bro, like, you, you might think these niggas old, bro. These niggas can't talk about this, bro. Like, watch full interviews of adult men that's rappers and all these shit. Watch how they act, bro. Watch how they what? act. <laughs> that's facts, though. That's bro. facts, though. Like, <laughs> like, sometimes I be watching, like, uh, what's, that, what's that Um, with Charlemagne and them? Oh, Where man. Yeah, uh, uh, some of them like I'm like you're like what the fuck are you talking about like man, that's what I'm about An- to say. Angela is the worst at all, bro. What you saying? What about ye? You, you said ye the worst. Swap so jumped in she, and said something because I, I was just about to go worst. in with you on that ye shit, nigga. Because even my lady telling me like I hate. Actually, yeah, I wish they hey, all right. So now let, let's bring this full circle because I seen you trying to get this point across kind of earlier school with these boys. What females do these females like? Like, they don't really like I'm trying to figure out like what's the accountability, what's the stand? Like, when can we be like, ah oh, man, that woman, she a bum? Because like it's like women have no accountability. Like, if we judge anybody, it's like man hate woman. Like, do y'all really think that? It's like, not you really think man hate woman? It's not enough public, it's not enough good ones that they know about. That they can oh, bring up. so they can't say nobody. So they feel like we hating so on them. Anybody that we talk about, <laughs> we shitting <laughs> on them. But in actuality, we fuck we, with the better nigga, ones. We bigging them up. Like, hey, why y'all ain't like this? It's the same way y'all are big up some niggas. Like, hey, why y'all ain't moving like these boys? Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We got to come to an understanding that we hold each other accountable, bro. That's it. Like, it has to be some type of standard. Like, bro, you can't move like that. Like, I don't understand, like, where, like, a bib just move any way the fuck she move. Bro. These motherfucking bitches, they be confusing me. God damn, have- Swab. I know, bro, but I'm clarifying that y'all don't reflect the views of Swab. But anyway, <laughs> hey, I'm they- rocking with hey, I'm, I'm rocking with the bitches title for, for, for some of them. So keep on going. So for certain one of them, I guess. But mm-hmm. check me out. They're they gonna use that against you. When they hey, say female like- dog, they call males dog. We rocking with both sides. Go ahead, Swab. Oh, it confuses me when they say shit like niggas don't appreciate women and niggas don't like women, but then they stay in the other breath. Niggas be too lame trying to do too much and like you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. it's like so how can niggas not appreciate y'all but then be too lame trying to do too much for y'all? I don't understand how that works. I mean, it's, yo, oh, I, I, go ahead. That I that 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 part confused me too. Like I I want a female to explain that to me. Like like yeah, you it's like niggas is always complaining about, you know, you got to be that perfect balance mm-hmm. of nice and hood, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <why> I- <laughs> hey, you know crazy about you saying that? I know you a nigga like me, old oh, nice boy nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And we be, yeah. we be like, I'm a, like I'm, nigga. A, I'm a nice ass nigga and all this shit, bitch. You gonna do me like that, bitch? I should do your ass. <laughs> and do it. Nice but hood, or or you got to be like, uh, um, stable. But uh, unpredictable at the same time. Like, I see what you're I, saying. I, I don't get that. Like, I don't get that. 
Hey, I just think they don't like happiness and structure, bro. I'm trying to tell you, it ain't about none of that shit, bro. Is that, bro, I'm trying to tell you, they're going to change it to whichever one is easier at the moment, bro. They're going to tell you, hey, I want you to pay attention to me. You're going to pay attention to them too much. You're going to start catching them. They go, oh, nigga, you were, you, you, you were this and that. You you this and yeah, that. Yo, you like, you. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, look at, yeah, bro. Matter of fact, me and my wife was watching, me and my wife was watching some shit on YouTube. It's a chick. I, I ain't going to shout out right now, but it's a chick, but she got a little web series or whatever. And she was just basically exp explaining her life in college, bro. And bro, the type of shit I was hearing this girl say, bro. I'm what I what I'm trying to tell you about, bro. They have to start setting standards for themselves, bro. Because as a man, bro, we can hear niggas say shit and be like, man, nigga, on some bullshit. As a woman, nothing is bullshit. It's just nah, just a nah, woman. Nah, go nah, ahead. Some women go ham. I do be loving the girls I see who go ham. I be seeing. Fact, let me stop doing that all, because definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see my girl and I be having to like give her like the little eye, like, man, I love when you do shit like that. Like, call them hoes up, man. God damn, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to. I don't want to tell her when she get a big head, but she be doing that shit. And I see other girls doing it. And it's like, okay. So some girls see some of this as bullshit, but we also not women. So something we call bullshit, they don't be seeing as bullshit, bro. But the hey, thing is, go ahead. I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, um, all female got that side, uh, um, uh, like on them, but what happened is the one who's using that shit for attention. Mm. That's the difference. Like, all, I feel like all people Ooh. got that side on them. Like, when they want to like entertain Swab, them. Did you catch that, Swab? Mm. I caught it. it. Remind me of how some every every nigga can beat you the fuck up, but some niggas use it as like a let me intimidate. That's right. Exactly. That <laughs> <me. laughs> oh, I feel like. <laughs> Rob, you want me to say something? Keep on going, bro. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. That's what happened. Like that's that's why. Like that's what makes like a, a housewife. Like you know, you got you got a girl. She know how to act and every, everything and stuff. Like she's she's not about that on social media, doing it for the gram and stuff like that to get likes and shit like that. But when it's just your two, she's like worse than a porn star or whatever and stuff like that. I feel like all female got that side to them, but it's the one. The problem is the one who's doing that shit in public for everybody and expect to be treated like a housewife. That's the disconnect. Yeah, man, come on, this 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 nigga over here giving some like. Hey, I'm I'm just gonna let ladies know who listening, just in case you think that real nigga don't feel like that, and my nigga don't give a fuck because I wear whatever the fuck I wear. And shit. I'm gonna let you know right now that your goddamn nigga feel the same way that I've just just said, but the shit weird. Hey. He's just yeah. a peon. Hey, I know he's not a peon. He doesn't care, bro. Bro, it ain't. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, peon. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, it's, it, bro. I, bro, we we had a homeboy, bro. One day, some shit happened at the wire, nigga. I had called Swab. I was like, "What he boy trying to jump us?" We had a homeboy, bro, that we all could look at him, but like, bro, he he's the weakest homeboy. In that moment that he was faced with adversity, he responded. They don't do that, bro. So you can't like what you saying, Swab. I can't agree with it, bro. And it's not about <laughs> peon. None, nobody peon, bro. These niggas ain't, bro. These niggas ain't niggas, but they don't care about these bitches, bro. I don't give a fuck how peon you is, bro. It could be a buff ass nigga outside. A nigga, a nigga not gonna grab your woman up. I don't give a fuck. This is I don't nothing. Care. If you say that they don't care about them, how you gonna be with somebody and you don't care about them, bro? Ain't that a little bit like psychopathic, a little piece? Like something? Bro, no, they pan sometimes they pander to them, bro. Sometimes they try to be like, oh yeah, that shit's sexy on you. Fuck what them niggas say. You in power, babe. Man, I let my bae do. I let my bae show that shit off because she got it, nigga. She a work of art. I ain't do a thing. I, I, I'm, I'm not an insecure nigga. They like saying that, like y'all niggas yeah. insecure. Y'all don't want y'all ladies naked on porn, no stuff. Yeah. Dick. Tell me, that's who I call the peon. Oh, all right, I see what you're saying. And you let said. me fill you guys in. Go ahead. What you saying as a woman? What a woman got to say about this whole subject? Kanye <laughs> recently <laughs> said that his wife was using her body as a work of art, so on and so forth. It's art. It's okay. But Kanye also went, also went on a rant and said, I want a divorce because when you and Meek Mill met such and such. All I'm saying is, like, you Offset, that. your wife can make that music, that. but do not be surprised when your wife has yeah, men sorry. trying to Get at her, okay? Hey, we need we need like an amber alert or one of them shits. Hey, we need to keep an eye on Stephen Curry and his wife because this same situation happened with them. We need to keep an eye on Will Smith and his wife. This same situation happened with them. These that are peon, bro. Niggas, bro. Niggas have feelings, bro. When a woman tell us that she cheated, bro, it break our heart, bro. 
I, I don't know if they know, bro, because I guess we don't cry some shit, bro. But bro, it'll make us sink into the ground, nigga. And yeah, I'm so telling you, I'm alright, but don't give a fuck. I'm not going to no, cry. Like, like, what, you, what you saying? What you saying, Abdi? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, oh, man, bro. How you going to do me like that, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they going to clown your I, ass, nigga. They might record you and put you on live. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you know, yeah. I'm get that. See, that, that'd be the problem, bro. I think people be like, <laughs> like, you know people say live your truth and shit? And mm -hmm. people be thinking that shit is a joke, right? But what actually happens when you live your truth is like you can't be worried about it no more because like I know one who put it out there, so I'm gonna. You know what I'm talking about? When you, it, you gotta always be worried. Like, damn, are they gonna see me crying? <laughs> damn, are they gonna know I be crying? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I feel I feel like man, man, like is a, man is affected by that even worse. Like when when, when it comes nah, to like, cheating. See, I don't like because, because hold on, because, because, hold on, because, like, go on. Cause I, I want to see what the hell so I'm trying to sneak in because you about to crush him. So what you saying? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah you stupid. <laughs> I said, Maybe I'm weird, bro. Cause I just I don't like shit like um one is different from the I'm other. I'm telling you it is because Double we standards. we bro we have some structures, bro. Me, we have structures, bro. Like intangible shit, like feelings and shit. Because I I've never been inside of a woman's body, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell a bitch how it feel if I make her feel some type of way. I can't, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd right. be some weird like, shit. Just like she can't tell me how to feel or to get mad about what she do. You see what I'm saying? I agree I'm with all of that. But I'm telling you, in nature, there's like I, like I'm saying, I agree with everything. And I and I say if, if your woman tell you that this shit hurt her, I feel like you should listen to her. But like you, we definitely gotta get to a point where it's, it's less opinion and more facts. Where it's like, all right, that shit hurt you, but it shouldn't hurt you unless you think that I'm banging on you. I just want you to get better. That hey. like that's what's causing hey, this whole know. world swab. Cause oh, like we we, we we can't check them, bro. Like we can't like we, we can't check them. Hey, bro, you gotta change, bro. That whole ass shit you doing is some whole ass shit. Yeah. Like, where do we hold them accountable? What I'm saying is, keep your switching rooms going, bro. Mm hmm You ain't switching them up. You ain't switching the hour, bro. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, and you off camera. I know you like doing that shit because you be getting sleepy, but I just want to let the people know. I'm off camera. I don't I'm know. Off. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just isn't here, but keep on going. So I'll make sure you do your switch your, Switch the people who talking. Switch them yeah, in. Talking. Yeah, my dumb man not even doing that shit. What I was going to say, know. though? Well, I was going to say... I was going to say, I'm not saying that um you shouldn't correct nobody or you shouldn't. What's it called? Uh -huh. I'm just... I don't like terminologies that fa that favor one being more important in a certain situation. You know what I'm talking about? Like, but I'm telling like you, everybody have their own importance. It's the same way when when, when a woman get pregnant. Every time somebody see her, they glorify. Hey, congratulations! You know you know hey, fuck you, brother. I hate when y'all prove points. That bruh, they, they never you, looked at you like, hey, bro, right. you, you, right. bro, you about to be a dad, <laughs> nigga? My Is shit that don't your matter. Yeah, my <laughs> shit don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go and ahead, I'm bro. a liar too. If I get mad, don't shit matter either. So yeah, you're right, you're right. So yeah, lady, in that same bro, you 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 was expounding on Swab point where he was saying like you can't say like how like man we feel shit more or like what you was basically saying about the man and the woman dynamic of like how woman ain't growing like what's the go problem? Ahead. No, I I feel like. On, on that specific um part of it as far as like infidelity and stuff like that i i think i think men um take that shit to the heart even more like that's why I, I think like some women like are able to forgive and actually forget about it and, and move on when niggas will hit you forever like 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 think about it if a female like cheat on us we never forgive that shit like we never forget that shit I feel like it's because we we feel that part of it even more because um because I feel like on that when that happened I feel like uh, um the biggest toll is on ma mainly hood and on egos and shit that that hurts the most like and for 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 that reason like we we I'm taking huh. So you proving my point now, cause I mean I'm sure their egos can be hurt too when you just think you the shit in the motherfucker, and then your nigga just find some other bitch to just be the shit. See, but I'm telling you, that's not the concept. I'm trying to tell you conceptually how I'm looking at it, bro. Is if every man started being attentive to their woman, we would all be like, all right, we need probably one more wife. All right? No, 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 no. I love you, baby. Wait, wait, but wait, we what? might need one more or two more wives. Cause the way I'm looking at the system running, and I'm paying attention to you. 
you laxing in areas. You don't like doing this. You only like doing this, and, and you're great for that. And, and we have a lot of bonds. But what about these areas? Know. I don't. Oh, a woman can't say that too. Huh? A woman can't say that too. A woman can say that, but she could be single because we're the consumers. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm saying. Hey, hey, bro, swap. It's a different ball game because we are the consumers, bro. We are the consumers, bro. Hey, wait, wait. Like we pay for everything. Like we are. Like we the consumer. And hey, a, a, a woman that want to pay for everything, she end up with a weird dude that she don't want. I'm trying yeah, to tell you, yeah. the system doesn't that's work true. the other way. <laughs> it only works true. one way. Alpha male, bro. I'm trying to tell you, it's a weird study, Swab. They said one percent of the male on this planet fuck all of the females. That's a weird. <laughs> that's a weird stat. One percent of the male fuck all of the women, bro. Bro, it's niggas called incels, bro. It's random niggas that call themselves in. In Involuntary what? celibate nigga. Nigga, like, come on, on bro. Laughing my ass off. Think about boys. what's going on, Swan. Involuntary for that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Scoop, scoop. They didn't because they're too nice. They was taught that women like nice guys that provide for them. They don't. Yeah, yeah, that, you're yeah, lame. That's, 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 that's You puny. Uh, then they, they go shoot some shit up. How <laughs> they gonna become a police officer? Oh, and. and Go ahead. And this shit, and and um, and you can see the disconnect though when when, like, I, a lot of female are actually angry right now, um, because oh they they using, they using that standard like they they usually using like standard that men, um, is judged by. Hey, lady, I'm I'm, I'm throwing this shit right to you right now, so so, so, so don't, don't, don't even lose your thought. Hey, but bro, I was bro. Hey, hey, Swab, bro. I was, I, 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 I got, I got out of college 2013. 2013. I was chilling. Through the, I think 2015, 2016. Chris Brown came out with a song called "These Hoes Ain't Loyal." When I say I've never heard a nigga jam that song, bro, and that was one of the biggest songs. I was like, all right, I know where we at now. And I seen it keep on going. I keep on seeing a woman thinking that they're mad. It's like, bro, man, just want to fuck. Yeah, right. Like, what do you mean? Like, we literally just want to like. That weird shit you doing ain't gonna help you. Like you're, y'all just not gonna get married. Y'all just gonna be sad yeah, as fuck your whole that's, life. That's, that's what true. they keep. That's true. They keep that's true. Well, I, with everything. Yo, is. And like personally, I have, I have like, do shit. They feel like they could do shit. They don't understand who the consumers is. Oh my god. Hey, it's like building a brand. It's, it's so bad. And it's like, nah, I don't give a fuck what type of shirt you like. These type of shirts. They're like, bro, all right, cool, but we're not gonna purchase your shit. Like, <laughs> we, we, we just understand, like. It's consequences with everything, bro. Hey, hey little lady, the other podcast we were talking about how women don't understand consequence. So everything you saying makes sense. So keep on going, bro. Cause, but yeah, like, like I'm saying, they're like, trying to be judged by our standards, and they don't. Exactly. And it don't work that because we're two working. different like, type no matter, of motherfuckers. Thank you. Yo, no matter how many <laughs> degrees you have, no matter how much money you have, you if if you not feminine, niggas gonna dog you. If, if don't matter on, what you got, bro. No matter what you got, like motherfucker, Beyonce. Hey, I explained to my wife the reason why Beyonce got cheated on is because a man love a woman that they could move and do business together with. Watch how Beyonce and Jay-Z moving right now. Everything yeah. they doing is as a unit. Every song they making, they talking about each other, talking about the relationship, or talking about growing some shit. Hey, bro, like, you, you it's, it's some different. gems right there, bro. Oh, I don't, bro. I don't, I don't damn near. I remember one time you said some shit to me in passing. I never forget it. You was like, damn, um, you trying to do this podcast shit. How come your girl ain't right there helping you every step of the way? Da -da 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 right? Mm -hmm. And I kind of, I kind of, I don't know if it was because of that talk y'all doing with the real estate. She must have been listening more than I thought she was listening because she was like on that shit, trying to like, you know, hey, and you still doing your part today? You know, it's the young know, homie doing that shit, trying to, trying to get me motivated and shit. You know, talking about, oh yeah, I gotta shout Bay out, man. She, she, she was trying to get me on my shit. It was, it was like two days when I would have just not did this shit, but she was like, nah, you gotta stay on your shit. Your part, right. you don't you want me to help you set bro. up the lights and hey, shit. I was, <laughs> hey, I was telling my wife, I seen a change in you when you told me about your mom fucking with it and you talking about you doing beats even though you do beats good and you making sales now niggas are asking you like hey bro you doing that shit tonight because niggas really want to yeah. tune in now that's like, you the craziest finally shit to me bro. niggas really want to sit back and be like hold on what bro got going on though kind of be talking about something shit to me bro i know i'm raw at beats i make bro. beats everybody who ever heard them be like them bitches hard right mm -hmm. but it don't be the same reaction as when it's just me and my goddamn niggas matter of fact everybody on this I'm shit right now i don't know y'all that I done known y'all last since I was goddamn a teenager than a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? You feel what I'm saying? Everybody on the screen right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just regular conversation. So to me, you got to see how wild it is to be like, damn, the thing that's getting motherfuckers' attention is just me talking to my dogs. Bro. That's what we were saying. That's, that's, that's the bullshit. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, you don't understand it, bro. Just, like, bro. Just me talking to my dog in the room, man. Bro, <laughs> you don't on, understand, man. bro. And, like, that's what I was telling even Scoop. Like, that's why I always shout out, like, Toby and, like, a lot of the genuine niggas we fuck. Because I understand building brand. I understand, do, bro. Having my bad to cut you off. Genuine, keep on going. I thing. bet to cut you off. But then also the craziest part, I watched a lot of videos and Scoop, the one who hit me to this too. Scoop say everything them niggas say, low key, it be true. And I done heard Gary V say that everything he says is game, but only five people out of the like uh, out of the out of, out of the fucking uh, ten thousand that's at the keynote speaking, he mm. says only five of y'all are gonna leave here and do any of this shit. All y'all gonna clap and all y'all gonna da 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 da, but none of y'all gonna do shit. Hey, y'all gonna right. shit. Hey, the one day y'all don't see a follower increase, y'all gonna stop doing it. And then that's that's the breaking point when you don't make it over here. Out, out, out of the fucking uh, ten thousand that's at the keynote. Somebody bro, mute. Okay. I was about to say, bro. I don't know what's going on. Oh, All right, so, so 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 check me out now. God, Do damn, you think? I don't I'm gonna burn my shit. But yeah, bro. Even in that same but breath. Like, no, no. Yeah. My, this is what I've been say. I was gonna say, nigga. They always say that you gotta try a whole bunch of shit because you never know what it's gonna be and da da da. da right, mm. nigga. I don't try to sell beats all type of ways. You know, the one way I didn't try to sell beats is on this yeah, damn podcast. Shit. You ain't never see me come on a podcast and be like, hey. Matter of fact, I did one time when you told me to get donations. So I was like, fuck out of here, nigga. I sell beats. But anyways, hey, you don't put cash <laughs> up and everything in this shit for everybody. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Straight up. Niggas, bro, I be watching niggas be donating the niggas just joking. Like, niggas is just joking. Like, some joking yeah. ass niggas. But niggas put it on everything I love. Y'all gotta let them know around. that y'all got damn. <laughs> bro, y'all gotta do a video for me to put in the back. Because, bro, people be looking at this shit and, like, hey, at me least and my wife people. Was the other day. Because, matter of fact, because Scoop know us. So, you, I, I don't even know how judge, if you know how judgmental me and my wife is. Every time, bro, we get off this shit, bro, we go in this background, we see all these funny folks. Mm -hmm. All these funny folks, we like, man, who the mm -hmm. fuck these niggas is in the back of the shit? But like I said, I fuck with you because I hey, know bro, you ain't never heard of me. And you the entry point. So to, no, not, not even that. Not even that. You ain't never heard Einstein talk no piece. Well, go ahead. Einstein said some shit that I ain't never forget. So I was a little ass jit and I heard that shit. I don't even know where I heard it. Mm -hmm. That nigga stay <laughs> a wise man <laughs> can play the fool than a motherfucker, right? But a fool can't play the wise man. All right, so what that mean? That mean that motherfucker, I'm I, I'm I'm very aware that it's certain motherfuckers who just need, no matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say nothing. Gotta ruin the whole shit. But yeah, it's just it's, right it's just certain shit that you can do that certain motherfuckers is gonna always react to. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you ain't never been to a, you ain't never been to a grocery store and they ain't got no music playing in that motherfucker. Hey, just like this same thing right here because I, I want to make a segue. But but like but earlier we had a weird segue. But so because we was talking about the WAP, so I went really back before I even went forward. We was talking about the WAP. And the WAP was presented in a weird way. My wife presented the WAP to me. Boom, boom, boom. Explained it. Man, it I, was gonna, I was gonna have my bacon shout something out, but I right, hey, about nah, to say, hey. She gave me that look like nigga don't even. Mm. I ain't shouting shit out. Mm. Hey, I was like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> in that same breath, it's look like, damn. See, our homeboy not on here. Mm -hmm. The light skinned man not on here right now. Yeah. It's, 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 like Michael Jackson. <laughs> light skinned Bridget, like Michael Jackson, huh? But I was really trying to get like a like a count. Cause I know we don't want to go really wild, but I was just like I was trying to get like a count. Like say like whatever amount of women we had sex with in our lives, right? No, I ain't saying shit. No, 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 not, huh? not the numbers. <laughs> not the, the numbers. <laughs> not, not, the, the, the no num numbers. The numbers no, are I don't even like talk about that shit. The numbers are okay, guys. Let's go. But what about like like Ugh. now? I want to make you limited even more. Like, have y'all ever had a woman that squirted? Cause that one, that one like, time, but I don't believe it no more. I think it been pissed all over my shit. All right, so you don't know because it's one session. All right, what all you right check me out. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was about to say, um, I've had <laughs> separate occasions, and I'm gonna definitely say mm -hmm. that there is two different types of uh -huh. exactly <laughs> two different one types. Was of one was insane, one was insane in the membrane. <laughs> <laughs> There's two different types of them, bros. You know what I'm talking about? Uh. And and what was crazy was the first time ruined me. You know what I'm talking about? I was on some shit like, bitch, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> look, I'm dying. I'm but look, dying. But, but look, though, look, though, look, though. It happened again one time, but it was unexpected, right? You feeling me? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And that time when it happened, so like, I was already prepared to like start swinging. I was, I was ready to start swinging off. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Come oh, on, bro. So like, you like, weren't even what kind of mood I'm <laughs> I told you that. But then, but look, look, once yeah. I was like expecting the situation, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, hold on. This is something, something different. different. <laughs> this, is something, this, is something, this shit gooey. <laughs> this shit gooey and sticking and shit over here. Hold on. Hey, matter of fact, I was tripping, man. You know what I'm talking about? Let me <laughs> <just> be okay. <laughs> and then I got introduced to this, this creaming situation. Mm hmm. Mm. And then when I got introduced to that situation, I was like, oh, man, that little boy shit is in the past. Oh, so you ain't even on the squirting game no more. Oh, no, I'm on the squirting game if she going if she going to she going to max out like that. If she gonna, but you feel me? You understand but, that it's another level. Oh, Lord, this is to me. When she get to goddamn making that 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 um that that secretion. <laughs> It just feels biologically like the, like the universe is telling you, hey, whatever you're doing right now is working, sir. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, it's fucked up. Real quick. Condoms are made from like some weird plant type shit. What the condoms do, it actually kills your sperm cells. So the more you wear condoms, the more it kills your sperm cells. I'm not telling you not to have sex without condoms, but I'm telling you, the less you wear condoms, the better it is for your life. Let me tell you how much of a weird bro I am. Matter of fact, I won't. I, I won't think you're right. I don't think that you want that message out, bro. No, I, 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 yeah. I think you're right, bro. I was about, about to say, I was about to say, I was going to tell opinion. the people how much of a weird bro I was, but then I started to think about it, and I was like, you know what? They don't it's need to know what's going on. It's a public platform, and we're leaders. Yeah, they don't need to know what's going on. Yeah, but my nigga, bro, that conversation to the wrong nigga, that is bad. Sounds Protect bad. your life, get you a wife. Okay. But, hey, 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 like like hey, hey school, I think about it like this. The most high was about like I'm trying to tell you the reason why I don't like what we do with sex is we, we make it odd. Like we make it odd because the most high has sex. Our parents has like the reason why we're sitting here talking out our big ass mouths because two people had sex, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I, I told Thanks. you like, Hey, I told you. I don't know how weird y'all know. I, bro, I'm a weird. Right, let me tell you. Let me tell you. First of all, Jamaican people definitely feel how you feel. I know you Jamaican when you say <laughs> shit like that. Because my my dumb ass, like you have been wondering shit, and like you got I got kids now, so I just be wondering shit. So my dumb ass asks my mom. I say, Mom, how the fuck you and my dad met? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got damn 15 years younger than this nigga type shit. 20 years younger than this nigga damn there. Like, how y'all met? Right? <laughs> I should yeah, never well, ask that. Story. Cause yeah, Mon Duke ain't got Mon Duke ain't got no chill. Mon Duke say, "The man, the man, see me at McDonald's, you know, see me come from Jamaica." <laughs> and then the man say, "Him have one room for rent, give me." I miss that. I miss it. All right, me, me, me take the room. And then the man breed me, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like. I was like, hold on, what? Yeah, man, the man breed me, and then you come here. Yeah? And then the man say, I want to start a family and thing. And I say, yo, me just come to America, you know, Jesus Christ, you breed me so fast. <laughs> I was like, bro, you know hey, I'm the son, right? She protected her life, man. She got, she got out but the way real fast. That's the part of life, though. Bro, you know I'm your you son, right? But you don't just tell me this nigga breeded you, bro. Come on, now. You got to get you a bit and bust in her. Like, that's the whole oh, purpose of life. Hey, mom, my right, dad, my bad, mom. Right. Mom, dude's, mom, dude's probably gonna definitely see this. My bad, mom. I'm just saying, you told man. me the man breed it. The man breed me, and then you come here. I was like, all right, man. Damn, right, man. I'm, I'm trying to tell I'm you. I'm off bad day. Hey, when I came here, my, <laughs> my uncle snitched on me because I don't, so, so I for sure you know, but in the yard, we call cats pussy. Yeah, I push. I push them. You oh. know what's crazy? A nigga like me, y'all know I love cats. So you mm. know how much times I used to get hell for it. The boy out there, I play with the push them. I used to be like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Little bitch, cute. <laughs> I know that's not because everything you did was so traditional. Hey, <laughs> matter of fact, since we got so much Haitians and so much Jamaicans on the podcast, I have to ask this question right now, bro. Was it ever a beef between Haitians and Jamaicans? No. Hey, little Haiti, you should know more than us because you was at Evans around the, the height of it. No, no nah, way. I, I don't remember it. Like, no no way. Them boys, Kaden told me him and the Haitians used to because he played on soccer I, team. I, I, yeah, we all played on the about, soccer team. Like, I was about to tell you this. Like, Check me out. Maybe, I remember maybe, niggas like in the nineties or whatever. I, I used to like. I, I think I, that's how like that Zobor started before, because Haitians don't like dreads. Some like Check some me. Haitians don't like dread. The traditional Haitians they don't have no problem with it, but a lot of Haitians, the ones that came over here, hey, it, it, it's, it's just like the light skinned Cubans selling y'all out. It's just like light skinned Cubans that ran from Cuba. Y'all don't really like black Cubans. Y'all don't really like out. African people. Fuck y'all. Check me out. I never, hey, I never could. Two Dominican fucks that come over here. Y'all don't really like the traditional um people that, that was from the island. Just check me out. Fuck niggas. Fuck y'all. Anybody from the islands and shit, and I include Haitian brothers in this shit, and I'm going to tell you why. 
I remember it was at Robinswood, right? And you, you remember when they used to pick us up when they started rebuilding the school, they used to pick us up from the front. Uh-huh. One day I was getting picked up, right? I'm waiting on Mon Dukes, and I hear one bro cracking, like, man, look at her ugly ass in that in that nurse uniform, bro, with that Toyota. Right? <laughs> I hear <laughs> something about your mom. Nah, nah, nah. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm already, I'm bro, I get heated. I turn around fast as fuck. Like, hey. Huh? Scoop know personally that I, I punched the nigga so hard he said I slapped him with a book. So I don't play about Mom Duke. Hey, 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 swap, swap. And all he said was what I seen on SpongeBob yesterday. I, I used to watch SpongeBob. The day before, I seen SpongeBob and a nigga in an argument, and the nigga said, You kiss your mom with those lips. You remember you remember when SpongeBob? Oh, was, yeah, I remember that, that shit. Nah, you yeah. went crazy. No, SpongeBob. Kept, oh, Pat, they discovered the cursing words. And Pat, yeah, yeah. Ah, he kept on. Rah, 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 you, you uh -huh. You remember the sounds. <laughs> but look, check me out. So look, he said that shit. I spin around to look what the, who the lady is. Cause I'm finna, bro, you don't understand how much of an anger. But and that was, I think that was no, that was that was before the remodeling. Cause this was seventh grade when I was still lame as fuck and I had fucking airs on and shit. So I'm already like already mad and shit. Like, man, fuck that. You'll be packing all day at school. I'm finna hook off on a nigga right now. You feel me? <laughs> so look, I turn around, I turn around, it's this other Haitian lady, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, not, I said other, like my mom Haitian too. But it's this <laughs> Haitian lady, right? Look, and when she was, and, and look, I still got mad anyway, and I still checked Brad anyway, because she looked damn near just like Mom Dukes. So I was like, <laughs> man, fuck that. If you, if you think she ugly, and her car fucked up, and she look Haitian as fuck, nigga, you think the same shit about my mom Dukes fuck, nigga. And, and that wouldn't <laughs> be my mama. You feel hey, me? Hey, me and a nigga fell out, because he told me a Shanti the Jamaican. I never played that Jamaican Haitian shit. So like, but I, I, bruh, I know that there's a real beef, though, because I know a lot of Haitian people don't like dreads. And I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, me, I don't like Haitians for not liking dreads. I feel like a people in America oh, suffer. <laughs> from I don't remember that shit. People in America oh, suffer bro. from secondary beef, bro. White bro, people and man, other people on, Let's talk will put Asian beef on a motherfucker, bro. For sure. My, me and my wife always talk about my nigga putting beef on a nigga. Yeah, they'll put beef on a motherfucker, and then now you got to kind of defend it because you hear the other brother being like, here, Sean. Me and no blood clot here, Sean. You know? And then now you, and then the Haitian brother looking like, hey, hold on, hold on. What do you, hey, buddy, buddy, yeah. what do you mean? What do you mean, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you hey but hey, hey, hey cool down now you feel no, me yo yo i think i think i think the way the dynamic was that it's like two brothers and shit who always fight oh but other niggas can not jump in that's perfect yeah, yeah you damn sure right yeah, like, that's perfect like you damn sure right make, like jamaican and haitian always gonna fight but when an american or other rich like spanish on jump up. in we on the head together. I, I, I feel like that's a of ass races. Like, bro, we look, bro, we look the exact same. See, you can't tell me the Haitian lady ain't never come up to you and just, uh, uh, some, something, something, cool. Swab, swab. Swab. What, what, what do you mean that, that I, I can't, bro, I can tell you a few times that it happened to me. Every time I went anywhere. <laughs> hey, matter of fact. Every time I go to any one of my Haitian homeboys' house and I say I'm not Haitian, they look at me like, nigga, stop lying. He don't know, he don't know. He don't know. <laughs> know he's me, nigga. The, hey, we that, that's what happened to my dog Scoop. And Scoop ain't one time I one time I bought into it. My dog Scoop <laughs> is as American as you can get. My boy came from Alabama. He from the Alabama soil. Hey, T huh? Swab was Swab was there the day I went to the um Jamaican spot and asked bro for a party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey T. Bros be thinking I'm so fake, bro. They be trying to, they be finding I'm Jamaican. They be trying to offer me ackee and sawfish and patties, and I be like, Bridget, me don't, yeah, I'm no patty, and I'm don't like it. Nah, <laughs> nigga, they be sizing me like. Matter of fact, I don't think Bridget making for real, bro. He said he don't eat beef patties, bro. Fuck out of here, nigga. You think a lot of Haitians now? You think Haitians will deny that they Haitian due to that? Not no more. Yeah, no, not not no more, boy. I grew up with a couple of them, and that's why I shout out HD. Cause mm -hmm. HD was always a proud one, and I, but I, hey. the, we grew up in a weird time because I'm about to say, favorite, hey, Swab, no fuck that, Swab, bro. I was telling my wife, bro, that niggas used to try to jump us, bro, puss ass niggas, bro. Niggas used to try to jump me, you and um, little Haiti, bro. You remember one time we went to City Walk, bro, and we was coming down the the, the escalator, the escalator shit, escalator yeah, not randomly, and it was some niggas at the bottom on some following mm -hmm. type shit, and we all walked to the bathroom on some shit like, hey, let's get ready. Let's get yeah. our tools and let's walk. Hey, back you know what's crazy? What's up? You, you, know, you know what I told Ray one time? The time when me and Ray had got robbed, right? Mm. Little fun story. They had put the gun to Ray head and all. Like, those niggas had jumped out. And we knew it, but we was like, this ain't going to happen right here. They pulled the gun out, put it to Ray head and shit, right? So I remember I looked at bro, and I was like, man, man, I, I, man, damn, you lucky. We had just put the shits up, right? 
I got a like, story like that. Go look, ahead. He, was, he was like, pussy ass nigga, I'll shoot your ass. And I'm like, fuck nigga, you ain't gonna do none of that shit, bro. You making real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you getting real serious and shit. Da, 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 da. All you gotta do is get the shit, get the shit. You feel me? Mm. And I remember Ray had, another nigga had the gun to Ray head, right? And I remember looking at Ray, right? And Ray was just looking at Jit. Like, I'm talking about face just looking at bro, like, nigga. And right in that moment, but you know how much pride I had in us that I was like, bro, we done robbed niggas, bro. Them niggas cried, bro. Like, cried tears. You feel me? <laughs> Man, we sit, we we sitting there, and I'm talking about Ray was like what, 14, 15? Ray like 15. Look at that nigga in his face, like fuck nigga, you mm, fuck niggas. Why we put the shits up? You feel me? And right then, I was like, man, we some real ass niggas, man. Like fuck that shit, hey, man. We was. That's why. Hey, it's that's whatever, why, bro. Hey, that's why my dog Scoot was so he was so concerned last week when I was telling him because I don't know if he knew that because I hung around with the basketball niggas, but they didn't know that we was those guys, man. <laughs> That's bro, whatever, bro. I don't see real niggas. Niggas. It was those guys. They thought that we was bad. I'm trying to tell you, it was so odd to me that they, that they seen us at the ball. They was like, bro, y'all boys bump? Like, bro, because I was telling my wife about the story with you, and I was saying, bro, I've never sat there and I wanted to jump in so bad. I remember, like, been like, bro, swallow them, tighten up, bro. I'm in this fight in two seconds. But then I heard <laughs> yeah, you laugh. I'm like, bro, these your hits? Oh, yeah. Bro, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, I fought this one nigga. Look, I fought this one nigga. Do you nigga. remember that day that you let Nick get on top of you, bro? Ask was DJ hits. <laughs> it was a crap. I'm gonna lead you in. Though, that's the second time that bro got beat up from the top. I'm gonna I'm 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 lead you into the it. Second time we see a Spanish guy did it the first time. I'm gonna lead you into it. Ahead, I was man. fighting a bro who I didn't know he was older than me at the time because he's short. So it was my bad for sizing him. How but old you was, bro? How old you was? When I was fighting the older bro? Yeah. I was I was 18 or 19. I was 18. I ain't had my son yet. I was 18, but he was like 27. But I didn't know he was that older. You feel me? Working on 27 years. Just, just, just check me out now. Just later. Just check me out. Check me out. Because I had the studio, a young dumb nigga, and I used to have everybody come into the studio, and some shit got stolen, and the people who stole it told me he stole it, right? Mm -hmm. So like a dumb nigga, <laughs> you confronted. Look, that. look, look. So like a dumb nigga, I go confront him, and he's twenty seven. <laughs> so of course he gonna be like, "Fuck, nigga, nigga coming up on me like this, nigga." Yeah, fight. Me so shit, look, huh? me and bro fighting, right? <laughs> to this day, I won't tell no lies. That was the hardest punches to the face I ever took in my life. <laughs> and look, 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 because me and him got cool later, he told me later, like, yeah, bro, I, I thought I'm going to get knocked out, bro. Your shit was just hitting me. I was thinking in my head, like, damn, boy, I punch hard because this nigga here is a behemoth. But anyways, <laughs> comparing that to how bro was hitting me, I promise you it felt like a bitch was giving me a facial. <laughs> Ah, my goodness. So, bro, I'm trying Do to you say, understand me, bro? bro like, when was, a real nigga hit you, bro, the shit make you feel like, oh, hold on, bro. I can't take too much more of these, bro. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> you feel bro, me? It hard. don't feel you, like, it don't feel you, like, right. oh, okay, that, I, I can, that I can day, reset. That day, bro, me and Scoop sat there and watched you let a nigga get on top of you in a fight, bro. And then, bro, I was so upset because, bro, that day I was steaming because Scoop came to the wine told some niggas try to jump him. So I'm already steaming. And a, a nigga said some whole shit like, hey, I don't want to fight T or Mike. He didn't want to fight to, um, Scoop, brother. Nigga tried to soft bro. press me. So now, so now he ran from two fades. I'm already feeling personal about that. So, but then, like, I told you, I kind of got mad with Scoop, but Scoop was like, bro, I'm not a hooper. I don't, I, I don't need to take my pants off to get ready. So, me and you ain't know he was ready, so you got mad. You got mad and took your pants off. We're like, fuck that, nigga. I got gym shorts on. What's going no, on? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I got <laughs> mad because, like, I don't know. Like, prior to that, I had started boxing lessons with the little Mexican <laughs> nigga, Papa, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So look, 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 look. Hey, you the niggas they don't want to train to martial arts. And it's always <laughs> one of you niggas in Chinese movies. A nigga that goes to the secret codes. This is the thing though, because we ahead, all bro. knew bro was soft, so it was never no. No, 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 no. it was never that weird. But we thought that you were trying to jump you that one day. I'm you gonna, was dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it was. So look, I, I had just got lessons with Poppy and shit, so I know how to fight a little bit. Poppy even told me, <laughs> "Oh, you, you you have some power. You have some power." So I'm looking like, "Oh hell yeah!" So look, look, look. <laughs> My when, power. Look, when he had said that shit, right? When he said he don't want to fight T or Mike, right? Mm. It made me felt like he low key sized, sized me. And like, oh, I'm well, we pussy. <laughs> like we pussy or some right, shit. And, bro, and that's why I got so mad. I was like, bro, y'all boys turn up, bro. You on, bro? You don't even remember that day, bro? And that's bro, why you ain't see me. My shirt came off damn near instant. Like I was a character on fucking the PS4. Bro, shirt I was just came off. I was like, bro, what? Bro, you sizing my homeboys? Like I'm walking around with some pussies, man. Bro, I was, bro. And then I you saw I thought it was over. I thought it was over when I was when I was on the bottom, right? 
So then, playing, he, he, yeah, he had tripped me. He I had tripped me. Tough end, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, bro, bro, it, bro, it was an older nigga there holding me. He was like, bro, no. chill out, bro. What made bro. me feel good was when the lady, when the lady was like, damn, he gonna beat that boy up like that. You remember that? Remember that old lady? Yeah. <laughs> it was together. It was a couple. It was. Yeah, she was couple. like. He just beat that boy up like that. I was hey, feeling myself then. I I'm didn't fought Darnell after that. Hey, I'm saying older. These <laughs> that was funny probably as shit. Hey, these, these probably 26, 27. We was like 15, though. 14. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. They probably wasn't even that damn older. Hey, you should have did that shit so you would have got off. You ain't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got off easy. <laughs> bro, you ain't understand, bro. When a nigga was punching me in my face, bro, I promise you, all I could hear was Poppy voice in my head being like, if you don't follow through with your punches, it will feel very weak. You have to, <laughs> yes, yes, you have power, yeah. yes. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. Man, uh, man, Mike had real fights, bro. I wasn't, it's bro, nothing. Katie and strong face ad. Do you know what it feel like to fight Katie over the remote? Hey, fuck bro. that. I my wife was asking me about jumping days. I said, when I jump on the podcast, I was going to ask you guys. Bro, Swab, Scoop, I definitely, I know you two guys remember. Lil Haiti, you definitely remember too. Do you remember? Bro, I, got jump, I, got, I got jumped by real niggas. Bro, you remember when niggas used to mop niggas? I'm talking about mop them, like wipe them on the, the ground, like mop them out. I you, had you, a couple like, times, bro. Them up, ring them out. You ain't, like, with, with you ain't hear me, though. You ain't hear me. I got, I got jumped two times in my life, right? I All swear. Right. You used to always be in a weird situation because you was a young nigga. So you used to go ask older niggas for um to go grab your golf. So you used to get in a weird situation from a jit. And I was telling my wife about y'all like, man, so I used to you be was risky. Just tell me out now. You was too out. friendly, bro. The both, the both times I ever got jumped, bro. All them, all them bros, right? Mm -hmm. all, all them bros, bros be scared of them bros. You know what I'm talking sure. about? For sure. And I'd be like, I'd be like, damn, them bros had to jump a young nigga. For sure. You know what I'm talking about? Like the one time in, in ninth grade where jit had to jump me, right? The, re the reason why they had to jump, man. I, I, I fight the other day to my wife. I, I talk about yeah. all these fights because I like the reason. I, I'm how upset I, I'm trying to say, I wish I was at Evans to this day because y'all. The reason why they had to jump, man. I was outnumbered, bro. But bro, bro, we, bro, we the Spartans, bro. We don't give a bro. fuck about being outnumbered, bro. Y'all supposed yeah, to. You gotta, you, you, us, you, you, you gotta understand how much pride, day, bro. You don't even remember how man. I was at the Y, bro. You gotta, you gotta understand how much pride as a grown man you gotta feel, and when you remember, and during the time, it didn't feel good. But as a grown man, looking back, you got to think about how much pride you got to be when you remember that you was getting on a jet ass and you heard one of his homeboys be like, damn, all right, now. Let him but go, nah, now. I be, Let him I go, be now. About if we would have just got up on a bus and suck everybody. That's what we should have did, bro. Let him go, now. That's the last thing I heard before a nigga got on my ass. <laughs> that we should have did, bro. We should have got on a bus and knocked everybody out. Nah, bro. It ain't nothing, but I don't been the... I done been to jail and shit, bro, and I done learned, bro, because, like, you just learn shit from listening to niggas. Don't be a bro. You, done, soldier. Bro, you just learn, bro, that, like, bro, that you, niggas only come to them realizations when they understand that my homeboy getting his ass toe up, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody decides to just <laughs> jump in. That shit happen at all. He like, bro, this shit hurting me. Like, you feel me? Because I would jump in if one of y'all getting your ass toe up. I'm going to be 100% honest, bro. Hey, Swab. I know this your podcast. I remember you had some shit in this shit, so I know I'm taking it everywhere. But like I said, bro, this shit fun. I know people enjoying this shit. They're like, bro, these niggas talking about story. That's what I love for Joe Rogan. I love stories, bro. I want to hear how niggas really live. Because the more I hear about how you live, the more I can listen to you as a real person. Like, my dog Amp. My dog Amp in the motherfucking, um, in the shit. Bro, it's a lot of niggas fucking with it, bro. But you had LSD. Hey, yo, we getting comments and shit. Hold on. What the hell going on? Seven reactions. Hey, we got 48 comments. Hey, look, 200 bro. plus views already. We getting comments and shit. That's kind of crazy. Hey, you know what? I'm on some real shit, bro. Man, I'm I ain't gonna lie. On my end. I, I appreciate the fuck out of everybody watching this shit, bro. Bro, I appreciate my dog. Out. Hey, I appreciate my dog. I hate it, bro. I definitely want you to go in for a little bit on some real estate. Hey, I yo, to... I, I guess you do. do, do you, I, I want to say it before I ask because I know people outgrow nicknames sometimes. Do mm -hmm. you got a problem if we call you La Haiti? Because I'm sorry, but you're gonna no. always be La Haiti to me, bro. Nah, bro. Hey, 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 call me Swab. Ain't nobody called me Swab in so long. All people know is Jamaica and goddamn Kush. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's what I know, bro. Like, I so call, I don't got no call problem with really hey, hey, I call him Bo. I'm trying to tell you, a couple of y'all <laughs> don't even know about the Bo. I'm trying to tell you, me and this nigga hung out every day, bro. Like, this is my bro. Like, bro, he'll tell you, bro. Always no, he like, 
It was a problem when y'all was close, like your other bro was. You know, you know, one thing I'm gonna tell you, Haiti, bro. He was around. Never tell you that, bro. All them niggas that's in the league and doing all their fancy shit. He was around, bro. Hey, bro. You know one thing I never told Haiti. He was bucking. Niggas know. Yo, we used to know. We used to take money from gone man at the bar at Park. Bro, you do you remember what we used to do? Yeah, hey, look, look. Hey, look. Do you remember how we used to go out with Coach Cosworth? Um, swap. Hey, look, look, look. Oh, One thing I ain't never tell Haiti, I gotta tell, bro. Like he got raw as fuck. I was training bruh. every day. I was on his head. Bruh, I was on T. his head. Bro, you, you gotta, gotta stop that. If, 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 you gotta if, stop if, that. Politics, he would have made it. Keep on going, Swag. <laughs> you gotta stop that, cause you, 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 you. What you is? You my dog or what you is? Cause you I be in my you, brain. Nigga, me and you were killing every day, nigga. So we gonna have the same thoughts. You be in my brain. Listen to me. I remember it was a point in time when me and Haiti used to play one on one, right? Mm -hmm. And I used to dominate him. Back him down. Dominate Haiti. I was way, I was way better than you, right? Back him down. Put him in. I remember out of nowhere, it felt like I was trying to do that shit, and Haiti was shitting on me. You remember? I was like, hit you with the cross. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yo, then he got wet. He got wet. I was like, what the fuck? He's going out every day. Do you know what that made me do? That made me goddamn start watching Paul Pierce and shit. <laughs> you don't remember. I was telling you my wife about exposure, around, bro. <laughs> Everybody that was around them YMCA days, they got a lot of exposure from us, bro. And I just want everybody to pay their dues forward, bro. Like, you ain't got to shout us out. I, I think it's odd because if I was in any weird position, I'll shout okay. all y'all out like I'm doing right now. That's just how I am, bro. No, but, it's not that. Let me tell you what it is and why I don't ever get mad about anything. Check me out. Mad about it. When I was at DP, right? Mm hmm which, which which was it was dope i loved the experience but i was around a whole bunch of niggas who like had it you know what I'm talking about like mm -hmm. ike and them boys had cars and like i'm talking about like range rovers and shit you feel yeah. me shout and my, my dumb ass come on the podcast one day shout my dog check me out my dumb ass was cool with roderick and all them type of boys and shit like shout that so i'm out. just around all the niggas who just got Dude, shit niggas you feel me mm -hmm. so i remember i used to be feeling like kind of crazy but then one day my um music teacher right mm -hmm. The nigga, Mr. T, I got to always shout bro out. You feel me? You used to always shout bro out even when we was younger. This nigga, he was in like a, he was like a rock producer and shit. He got Grammys and shit like that. But anyways, he told me, he looked me in my face one day, listened to my beat and was like, damn, you know, you remind me of JT and the boys. And I was like, who the fuck is JT and the boys? And the nigga was talking about Justin Timberlake. You feel me? Because them boy went to that bit too. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking like, hold on, bro. You, talk, you telling me this? This nigga say hell yeah, bro. I'm talking. No, he say hell yeah, but he was like, yeah. You know, somebody you always on this music shit. You got a real talent for it. Just something different about the way you do that shit. Ever since then, I always felt like nigga. Even if motherfuckers get their shit now, but that don't matter, bro. Like I'm gonna get my shit later, bro. We gonna all get our shit later, bro. Like you gotta think who was the motherfuckers giving the substance greater. in the group. La Haiti always had determination. You see where he he came out to. Shout out. <laughs> Never put me on basketball. What I'm trying to tell you is the way we way we look at life, whatever we choose to do, bro. I'm telling you, I've never played on a basketball team with a nigga that was better than me. The same way where, where now I'm getting onto this politics and just this thinking type shit. Like anything I expect to know about it. If a nigga come on some shit and know about some shit, I feel type of disrespect, like though I ain't studying. That's if you wasn't my brother, I feel like a goddamn dick rider for saying it, but you my brother, so I don't give a fuck. You gotta be the rawest nigga in basketball I ever seen. Bro, everybody I see I say that. Yo, on some real shit. Yo, in real life, you got to be the rawest no, nigga no, I ever I'm seen. Not gonna, everybody, bro, I'm trying to tell you, I seen my dog Drinker the other day. I didn't know he had so much respect for me, bro. He, but he really? held me up so high, bro. He was like, he was like, bro, bro, these niggas talking about Curry, bro. You was the original Curry way back nigga. nigga. To this day, I can go to I'm any court know. and I can guard anybody as long as I know. All right, T used to do this shit where he do that shit. I promise you, bro. I'm telling <laughs> you, bro. Listen, bro. Yo, I remember, yo uh, Devon. When he oh, first got to the Y. Now. That's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> but do you remember when he Von, first came how we used to do him, though? Vaughn, even Shane Larkin, when we go to, to fucking uh, DP YMC. <laughs> nah. Bruh. Bruh, we niggas, I was just telling bro, right that every I YMC, played, all these high school niggas played, we whooped their ass, didn't we? Yeah, Chris I played Warren, basketball, a bunch basketball of niggas, class. like D1 niggas, like NBA players. Oh, and shit yeah, like that. I remember you used to talk about yeah, Chris Warren all the time. You remember that day when them niggas wanted to fight us? I had yeah. basketball yeah. Yeah. to fight me and you and Cosra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had basketball yeah. class at DP with all these raw ass niggas, and the only person who kept it real was goddamn Roderick, who was like, always, bro. He was like, bro, on the pod. 
He was like, bro, motherfucker be scared when you guard the air, bro. I know it, bro, because you be locking me down a little bit, bro. Yeah, I be having that serious move. ass D, bro. That's yeah, that look, hey, bro. Old ass niggas like Coach Bobby used to be like, bro, y'all talk too much shit. <laughs> like, why y'all busting our ass and talking shit? You remember Coach Bobby? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Michael yeah. Jordan says that. Everybody used to want to fight us. Go ahead. Everybody used to want to fight us, but wherever we go, we go oh, to the man. West Orange YMCA, the DP YMCA downtown. My nigga T was getting uh, like shooting from like fucking half court. They couldn't stop that shit. Hey, what about the playing? confidence I instilled in y'all boys? Why he's a pass you the ball like man, exactly? Fuck exactly. Man, yeah. and, and, and you know when you get a good ass passing, you make a layup. And you think you're the man now? You go, you, you play even better defense now. You, you know what's crazy? crazy? I always tell you that, bro. You be on your ass, like, bro. You missed that shot, so you ain't playing no defense. But this nigga up, used to motivate me so damn much that I remember one day leaving midnight feeling bad about myself, right? Because I wasn't getting off, not thinking about that no. nigga. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing but raw ass niggas in here. You shouldn't be scoring no points. My nigga, like we used to play with future NBA players, right. current D1 know, players, how. current overseas, um, overseas players. I'm talking about like we play against Austin, we play against Dan Larkin, we play against the uh, um, we play with and against uh Devon. I was sure, hey, hey I was showing my wife a write up the other day where they were saying how I went for like 25 and Austin had 12. Like, they, they, I, I I the other listen, day. what I want to tell y'all, boys, go ahead, losers seldom determined. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Bridget. Hey, that's all you gotta say for the part. Hey, and Swag, yeah. point. My wife's yeah, like, you said something in the shit. We don't want the people to be sitting on the on the cliff. Exactly. My dog Scoop hit me up and was like, "Damn, T, you did some weird shit. You left your boy hanging." I kind of shot out the LSD video. You ain't shot shoot out. You ain't shoot out the project hey, though, nigga. Y'all really got to go fuck with the LSD lyric video. Um, yeah, hey, bro, did you see the LSD lyric video we did, bro, for the artist Cambada? Right. No, I don't see it, bro. Yeah, we just shit, lit, out, bro. We go. We we gonna send it to you directly, bro. But hey, Swab, it's your shit. But do your thing, man. Oh, now I was selling out to you with, with Juju. I said you wouldn't even peeping me. I was trying to say, bro, trying to say hi. Now he didn't got shy now. Damn, running away from some shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, run your shit. Nah, run your nah, shit. Go ahead. Because you told us that you was you had uh, some shit to bring about yeah, the LSD. Oh yeah. Hey, because I don't know if y'all want me to run down the track list first, or like, do you have already? Do you like? Are you already somewhere? Like, go ahead, dude. I got like, my I can tell you my favorites. Do you right now, bro? Because I, I just be wanted to... about... Go ahead, Swap. I just wanted to see. Oh, I just realized y'all couldn't hear none of them effects. Good y'all. Damn, that fucked up. Nah, never heard yeah, I got, I got the mic on that bit. I just wanted to say, goddamn, shout out to my boy because he goddamn did the fucking uh, lyric video on the hey, actual. We got the title track. Oh. I'm trying to tell you, bro. And hey, it's going to keep on coming, bro. And that's what I'm telling you. That's like. Niggas that work behind the scene, you might not like niggas might not see you with a lot of followers, bro. Hey, hold on. Stefan said Haiti got D2. He might have played ball with us one time. Who? Mm. Stefan. I don't know. Stefan Bond. He on yeah, that. Nah, nah. Bro, bro know us for sure. He, 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 he yeah, that, that, that's Josh Cousin. That's Josh Cousin. But I'm just saying, though, he might have played ball with us, though. No, everybody play ball with us, and they know how we get down. Everywhere I go, we, play, we we go everywhere, like yeah. all all throughout Central Florida. To the hey, what's weird to me? It don't, it don't be weird to you how like what you said when you was like how if you was up there you would share certain shit. It mm -hmm. don't be weird to you when like I don't know, bro. Like it just, bro. I know a lot more bros than it be seeming like, and I know yeah. a lot more. Bros Personally, like, bruh's been in my little ass apartment. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to tell you personally, bro. Uh, bruh's done petted my fucking cat. Nigga, you know what? <laughs> hey, that sounded wild. I ain't gonna cap to you. Hey, hey, to hey that it, bro. video at 17k right now. Oh, it was, was dry, July 20th. So, like I said, yeah, bro, let's speak yeah, on please, it, bro. Please send some more motherfuckers over there, bro. But hey, we dumbing out with lyric videos, and we got some more shit coming up. But fact, let me go put it on the screen. Um, we so they can see exactly which right what now, it is. Hey, we're working, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. We're consistently working. That's why I'm always oh, telling you. Like, and I already had a key, bro. It's the same way I spoke in basketball to y'all boys. I didn't speak like this because I'm pretending. I'm telling you, when we go to the yeah, gym, yeah. nobody going right. bust my ass. The same way they're not going to bust y'all ass, bro. Like, when, when we walk into this shit where we feel like maybe they... No, nah, hell no. How the fuck is he better than me? What the fuck did he do? Like, we have to keep that mentality and fucking everything. It's bro. not even that, bro. I just talk so much shit, bro. Oh, you just bring me to another point. Go ahead. You, you know what I think, because trying to instill confidence in my in my kids. You know what I think people should start doing, bro. This is weird, off topic, but you just made me think about it. Your youths, though, not your goats, but keep on going. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but shit, goddamn, people need to find a talent. 
or a thing that they do well, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Because yeah. if you got something that you do well, bro, the confidence you get from that thing, bro, you can take that and you can transfer that confidence to other places, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you got something that you know that you do well as fuck, that confidence, you can take that and put that somewhere else. Because I be seeing the most often the people who I see confident as fuck all the time, they got some type of skill or some shit that they can do that they just know in the back of their mind that I'm the shit in X, Y, or Z. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, no, that's I a hundred, bro. That, I personally think the confidence come before that, though. What do you personally mean? Personally speaking. In what sense? As far as um, just belief in yourself, even if you haven't done anything but how can you start but, to do that because but that, that, that has to like stem from somewhere exactly, like, yeah, exactly. That believe, you can that believe you can, like you can believe on yourself knowing that i'm capable of doing that like that's the belief like that's why you see like a lot of like let's say professional athletes um for example they believe they can hit the shot because they practice it like a thousand times that's exactly. that's where the confidence come from like skills is what gives you the confidence like and then even, even deeper than that even deeper than that if you look at people like let's just say people who like i don't know let's take the white boy who plays guitar very well right mm -hmm. why is he so confident in other things he does because he knows how to draw from that confidence that comes yep. from knowing i play guitar very well but anything niggas who play sports niggas who just are smart as fuck like you breed a certain the bro who thought he was a good fighter and he got beat the fuck up no, no, he, no, no, that's make believe. But I'm telling that's you, that, yeah, that's Mike Tyson, Tyson went out there. He shit, actually yeah. believed that he was Mike Tyson. Some niggas go out there and pretend to be Mike Tyson. And exactly tell you, hey, what I'm saying. And you can yeah. only draw that confidence from knowing that, that I do something well. I put in the work. Yeah. yeah. The same way Swab said, Pop, he, he heard Poppy voice in his head, like, "Hey, you got power. You got. You feel me? Like that's what I'm yeah, trying to say. Right. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it uh, comes from knowing." having validation like people i hate when people downplay validation when they say shit like i don't need people to tell me i'm good and shit hell like that no. like hell to me no. that's bullshit bro that's hell bullshit no. that can't because work. confidence is feeling or belief yeah and it's a belief how do you get that belief you don't get it from nowhere bro. and that's what i'm trying to tell you because if you get the belief from nowhere you're belief. But you make belief because you don't really have the belief because you never actually did it. So you just make belief. Yeah, it can be baseless. Yeah, you. It, it has you to have like. To have at the end of the of day, confidence. If you really, what I think confidence means, it's like it's like brick or cement or some shit. You can be confident in this bridge when you walk over it because you know the materials are secure. Well, and very shit like, solid. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, like wow. when, you're, when you're just guessing and you're thinking, you're just going off of fuck shit. Yes, it can work, but. At the end of the day, when you're secure, you know it can work. Like, if a nigga is a comedian and he knows he's funny, right? He just know he's funny. So even if his jokes isn't funny, the way he just structures Delivered, himself, like, yeah. the, way he, the way he just looking you dead in your face, it just make you laugh or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, what are you saying, bro? You is <laughs> you going in right now, Jado? <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, like you, confidence. But that came basis up. confidence. That ain't baseless because he knows it. Might, the joke might not be funny, time. but you believe it's funny. But no, I'm it's saying you you're it's funny. You're it's shy. Shy. That but you only that. believe it's funny because the structure of comedy, you know what it did and what it was supposed to do. And, and you, you have the result. Exactly. You've seen time and time again uh, that more likely than not, people laugh at what I say and people say I'm funny. People who's never met me, people who have met me. So over time, you just believe it. You just know you're funny. Like you're confident that you're a funny nigga. Like I think it's two type of confidences. And like I said, I, I understand the confidence you you talking about, Scoop, but that's like almost the placebo. That's a precursor. That's nah, a precursor. That's the placebo. That's where I give you the med the medicine that don't really work, and I tell you it works. Uh, like, what happens when, when I you have with them, a nigga that has the medicine? When I had the but damn you can be confident in something, and then you not be good at it. See, but I'm saying, have but the confidence, but I don't think like, that's confidence good in it. Like, like, you where you not be good in it? What you saying, Swab? When I had first got the hyperdunks, uh -huh. you, you remember what we used to do with the hyperdunks? No. And the type of confidence. And I had, I, I'll never forget it. I remember I came in the Y, <laughs> and I was just dribbling and all type of shit, and all I of a sudden I could do that's crossovers. Funny as fuck. I can do crossovers now. You had every you shot you me? shot that day. 
Yeah, don't lie. No, but I'm talking, about, I'm talking about going forward, even going forward. I used right. to always be like, oh, I got the hyper dunks on. I can hoop now and shit. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I nigga, days. nigga, you could have always did a fucking crossover, nigga. You just never tried it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, right. So it, that's what I'm saying. So the placebo only goes so far, bro. Oh, yeah. it's 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 from, item. From, I played with y'all all the time, so I can mm -hmm. really do it. You feel me? The placebo just helped me do exactly. it. You feel me? Exactly. If I never was playing with y'all, start doing it. If I never was playing with y'all and I just put on some hyper dunks, I would still be sorry as fuck. Hey, that's the same thing they talk about. Say like you start out, you a good fighter, and they overhype you, and now you fight a nigga that is a destroyer. That fucks your whole placebo confidence up that you had. Cause you really, you really wasn't that good, but you knocked out three niggas, and now they put you in there with a fighter fighter, and he and he goes the fuck down. Yeah, when I was a jit and I had a bad sex night, that shit throw my whole sex game off until I can get my confidence back right. I'm trying to tell you the weird thing about me, I was always, and that's why I kind of agree with Scoop, because niggas thought that I was a, I, I wasn't a virgin my whole life. Even a nigga that was one of our close homeboy lied on me to to a woman that I was with because he didn't oh, know that I lost, I lost my virginity going to 11th grade year type of nigga I, I am. I, I knew but for I a fact. So wow. I knew for a fact that I was fucking before you. You know that? I was so wild. How you knew? I knew for a fact because when I started fucking, it dawned on me that I was like, hey, bro, T ain't never got a slide and go fuck his beer. No, I, I ain't having nothing to do. I, I, I was like, I got to always slide and go fucking leave. Bruh, the I fucking live at the YMCA. That's why I knew I was the best basketball player. Not because I pretended. Because I was like, Yo, I remember. Yep, that's true. I remember that shit. Summer, we used to like drop in at eight when, when the shit opened. Bro, and you then, remember, bro, and stay there all night, bro. All night, like from open to close. Every day, every summer, like every day. Right, when I summer. stopped doing that, that's when I was like, "Hey, bro, T ain't T ain't smashing these bitches, bro." Bro, I'm I pretended so much, bro. I'm right. Every bitch I was around, I'm touching on. I'm so freaky, but the actual shit where you get to the point, I'm never. You know, when you food, that one, that one older bit, um, one of them, bit, Desiree's sister, big sister. Ooh. And, oh, and, oh, and oh, and oh, you, oh, and I don't remember. You were goddamn on a titty or some shit one day and i was I like was look 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 you made me do that shit with my beer i was like you know what i gotta do this shit Let me no, thing is, bro, me, like, i'm trying to tell you i was telling my wife the thing about me bro with everything i do bro the reason why i knew i was gonna be who i was gonna be in the sport is because i study bro so with the same shit we talking about bro i was a jit bro not doing nothing not jacking off nothing weird bro watching shit like real sex some HBO shit, just watching some shit and like listening to women talk, listening to niggas talk, and just like trying to peep games. So like I always understood it, but I never was really doing it. I used to always go as far. I, I can go as far as God let me. As far as God let me, but I never had a spot. I was never a nigga trying to leave the white. Bruh, I, I used to leave. Bruh, one time we had a perfect situation, bruh. and I, I was mad that you didn't convert. Cause I was like, bro, this is convert. Let me convert. I'm not no converter. Y'all all boys. Y'all y'all was wild. I was a basketball player. I kept my mind straight, bro, and I stayed focused on the goal, bro. <laughs> That's how you become the greatest, bro. You stay focused on the goal and you block shit out. So well, like, it's crazy that you say I'm that, bro. Fun, but I'm not having fun. I'm enjoying life. Just like I'm doing right now. I'm enjoying life, so I, we got crazy that you say that, bro. What's up? I say you know it's crazy that you say that. What's up? I remember very vividly a point in time when it was around 12th grade. You know what I'm talking about? Go ahead. You nigga laughing at me. I want to be all poetic with my, with my speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Even to say some stupid shit. For real. <laughs> For real. But anyways, I remember a, a point in time when, nigga, I was making beats like, like, I'm talking about, nigga, I'd get home from school, bro, and I'd make them bitches from God. i get my weed. You feel you me? I go to school. This not. is my ritual. No, I'm, I'm talking ass. about, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you did oh not go to God. school. Yo, bum Ooh. ass. Because when I came to Ooh. your house, Nigga, you, you had no shoes no. on, no socks look, on. Look, look, you, you gave it up like no, a week. Bro, you had no, your fucking me. barefoot every day. No shoes no, on me. every day. But check me out. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna fucking fry eggs every day. You were giving it up. You was a producer. Up, nigga. I'm gonna listen to you right now. I'm listening to you right now. The reason why I know you gonna make it, I was telling my wife that you like. I remember you like learned some shit, and you like, but T, bro, I learned that talk. I mean, Kanye, he. He did like one, like you went into some numbers. I was like, hell yeah, for real. And you like, bro, I gotta do that shit, bro. And you went to making beats every. You didn't play I beats a day for three summers. I remember bruh. it to this day. That's why I'm so hard on Kanye because he don't know that he birthed me. All right, but so anyway, that, that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Yep. So, so check me out. I remember it was a period of time, bro, when something in my brain just told me, like, nigga, 
you can just make beats, bro, and like rap and just make music and just like I don't know, bro. You never have to work, bro, or do nothing, bro. And like, bro, I promise you, my young ass brain just took that shit and ran with it to such a level, bro, that I learned how to do everything on FL Studio. I learned how to do all type of shit. That's why I can podcast and do this shit now. Like, bro, I was I was living and eating and breathing that shit. So when I hear niggas tell me, look, when I hear niggas tell me, oh, bro, I want to make beats and shit, but like, man, anybody got time to da 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 da? I be like, nigga, I can slack off and make a beat fucking once a week if I want to, nigga, because nigga, I'm a goat now, nigga. I done put in more than ten thousand hours. Me and my wife was laughing the other day. Shout out to my little cousin CJ. He doing his thing on YouTube. He he had a million views, so he doing his little hey. thing. Hey, but the other day, bro, we was at Unc House. I got so upset. Matter of fact, my wife got upset at me because I didn't play him one on one when I seen him at the gym, and I was like, I ain't want to interrupt <laughs> this session because I was thinking about me if I was legit and my uncle and like Spider come to the gym and he like T play me one on one. I'm like, man, get the fuck off the court, bro. We're running the five on five right now. I don't want to play one on one with your ass. So like, I told her that's why I didn't do it, but. Bro, who was at the spot? And he was like, man, T.I. Bush. I was like, bro, what? I'm like, bro, what do you spot. mean? Like, wh why do you think that? Like, like You know y'all like, think that for real. Yeah, like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, humans think that people fall off. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, you get to a level, bro, that it becomes mental, bro. You get back in shape and it's all over. It's just like riding a bicycle. You don't lose it, bro. When did you right. accomplish the levels that I accomplished? And now that I'm so you know what's crazy, I wasn't this smart when I was playing basketball, bro. When I go to the gym now, bro, you got to see how I play basketball. Niggas you know what's crazy, bro? I was. They don't remember me because I play different swab. I get rebounds and get a bunch of weird shit. I get steals. <laughs> this is why I say that fucking confidence can transfer from thing to thing. Mm. You know what I'm about? Mm. I know that I am the fucking rawest nigga at this producing shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody tells me. I can sample anything and make it sound like anything. I can make any beat to make anybody groove. I know that because nigga, I got I got the swag that you be having when you on the court, right? Uh, it go and <laughs> Let me pause you. Let me pause you because it's gonna sound weird before I say it. But I remember fucking um Charles Barkley, he was describing Jordan and shit, and he was like, he got big dick energy on the court or some shit. And I was like, what the fuck Jordan about? did. I know, but when he explained what he was talking about, you have yeah. to be honest though. And I used to hate my own boss for not being honest because I love him. We'll be honest, bro. Big everybody up, bro. We don't need to be weird, bro. That's what I'm about to say. That's what I'm about to say. Because if you be honest, that is the only way to describe it. You, you, you just moving like nigga. My dick bigger than yours, nigga. I'm that nigga. Move out of here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm That's the energy that certain motherfuckers move with. You know what I'm talking about? And I don't care what nobody say, but everybody done told me it when they get in the studio with me. That's how I move, nigga. I done been in real studios. And just from what I say, I wind up being at the control board. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Bro, just yeah, feel bro. like we love Vaughn, but that's why Lil Haiti brought up that story. What I'm trying to tell you, I came back, bro. I, I went and played AAU. I just started playing AAU. And like we was talking about stunt. I told you, stunt really made me because like one day I felt like he sized me. He's like, bro, you nice at the Y, but you ain't playing AAU. And I'm like, bro, everybody at the Y is better than everybody at AAU. These are grown ass niggas. Wrong, but... I knew they was doing that to like knock me, bro. But when I got to that level, but like that, that's why you listen. About. Right or wrong. You right, right or wrong, I hate when we go on tangents, but right or wrong, that's why you took oh, his yeah. shit to heart because stunt well, raw as fuck. He is super raw, bro. And, and no, I said, but that's I why you brag about heart. him. And, and no, I, I, I took it to heart because I looked at him as my homeboy. So when he said that, I was like, damn, birthday, and birthday. he's super raw. What if he was trash and he told you that you'd be like, nigga, shut up, you don't know. Bro, I don't care how trash you is, bro. If you my homeboy, I used to, I used to tell I used to tell Lil Haiti that I used to tell you that, bro. If me and you on fucking the court together, bro. If I call a bad call, bro, I don't give a fuck how nice you want to be. You don't turn around and be like, nah, dude, that was a bad call. That's some whole ass shit, bro. Get your whole ass off my team, bro. We gotta be more loyal to each other, bro. I don't, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not like these niggas, bro. Hey, we was lucky like that though. Shout out the same niggas. I, I got the we same was, niggas. We was lucky like that though, cause we crack on each other. I never forget when I had that red ass hair. Yo, I cracked on me for fucking ever, man. I was like, man, fuck this nigga. Bro, cause you gotta understand, bro. It's it, it, it's from a point of love. So like, when niggas throwing out there from hate, it's like, nigga, you bullshit, nigga. I'm swagging in you. Like we've been cracking. Uh, but I be seeing other bros. I be seeing other bros dynamic, and it don't be this. It be it be like, I, see, I don't like sound like a hater, but it just be weird, bro. Like the dynamics be weird as fuck. Like, bro, mm -hmm. bro. I was telling my wife that me, little Haiti, and I used to pick up like Tate. So what you doing, bro? You can with a do rag on looking crazy. In I used to pick up a bunch of weird people, bro, just because I I, I wanted to beat Vaughn and and the West Oaks bros. I wanted to show them like who we were, the original. <laughs> bro. We, bro, we used to terrorize oh, these kids, bro. 
And I I'm love looking. him to this day, bro. I'm just telling you what we did, bro. Everybody got to be yeah, honest. Fuck you, because you, you think I ain't never peeped that you was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that fucked it up was that I started to get a little good. So it was like, oh, well, you know what? Let me play with bro for real. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm trying to tell you, you, bro, you became one of my main niggas at the YMCA, bro, because you started really d up. Bro, I was, 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 no, you I, I know, no, you lying, you lying. Oh, I, got you every shot, I got my mid range. You shot every shot, bro. I got every my mid range right. No lie to me. I was on the block on the post. And also, like, yeah, like, 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 <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't give a fuck. Like, you make them the bitches, I was shooting. Yo, because my nigga, like, I was in the fucking gym every fucking day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Hey, bro, that little shot got wet, though. Hey, 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 and he was mad because he didn't make the team. But hey, let's go yeah. back to the LSD, bro. <laughs> bro. We got I got to break up the party. I love the party. I know you waiting on it, bro. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey man, fuck it. Hey, hey, hey. We, we stream no, on Sundays, on. Tuesdays, and Fridays. La Haiti, bro, you was a part of the cast damn there, bro. Fuck it. You you on here, bro. All right, man. I'm in. I'm in. I need time for it. Yeah, La Haiti is fucking intricate, bro. We love go, go ahead. Go ahead, Scoop. LSD. We into it. LSD, bro. So, hey, yeah, Swab, bro. what do you know about LSD? Because I think I feel like me and Scoop kind of delved into it a little bit more. Hey, um, La Haiti, do you check out part of this? I took it once. What happened? My wife sent you a bro. video, I'm pretty sure, right? But what you said? Did you see the cover art swap? Messenger, bro. I, I, said, I said all I know about it is I took it once, right? Yeah, I saw it. Um, it's an R shit? Yeah. LSD, yeah. Look at the, look at the cover art, bro. Kevin Little. Funny, I'm glad. Shit, what? Yo, bro, my boy Kevin Little in this been saying we funny, bro. This is one of my favorite homeboys, bro. Who is Kevin Little? Man, he's my favorite homeboy from fucking Robin's World, bro. You probably don't even remember him like that, but this is one of my favorite motherfuckers. Like, bro, like, I, I got some favorite homeboys I want to shout them out. It's my dog, Laquan. Like, it's some niggas I really, bro, you remember Wilbert? You know you know how, how tough we fuck with Wilbert. Oh, yeah. With the backpack. With the little backpack. With the little backpack. Yeah, oh, I always had the little backpack. I, I, was, I, was, I, I was telling motherfuckers they don't know about shit if they wasn't around when you wasn't cool if you ain't had a Dora the Explorer or the goddamn Blues Clues or something. I had a Transformer in ninth grade. Bumblebee. I had something stupid. Black and yellow outfit first day. Mom, my nigga. Nigga, nah, you tripping. We used to go to goddamn Family Dollar and get them bitches on a regular because the strings used to pop. Oh, my gosh. You remember bro. us. One more personal story, bro. Hey, go ahead, bro. You remember, you remember one time we had a Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait, hold on. T T bitch at low key got me on dressing. I remember going to fucking um um like a we used to go we used to go all over the place. Hey, hey, man fashion. Just, no, not a fashion. We used to walk to the oh, little no, shit. No, 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 no. We bro, then, bro, we started man closet. Look, hey, do you speak on that? We all speak on that, bro. Yeah, bro yeah, my nigga, bro. nigga we used like always walk around. But look, shout out Mark. Check me out. So shout out yeah, Mark my Sleepy Brown, bro, my nigga. Fat bro. Check me out. Bro, you, you used to have a little. Bro, you used to just Wait, be saying little shit. They still got that store. That store still though. That's, that's the, the that's 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 hard. That's store. That's the store. Yeah, you tripping hard. That's yeah, the, I just got some shit on that shit the other day. Check me out, man. Oh shit! Like I gotta go buy some sneakers. That's what we're going now. Yo, I, my nigga, remember when we used to like uh, uh, um raise money and shit, and, and we used to like go to the mall. <laughs> where big, big old right, hey. spoke about that shit before, bro. And I want to try to tell you, niggas have no excuses not to hustle, bro. We used to go. Check me out, bro. Check me out, Hey man, hey, hey, no one talk about bro. Scoop mad at us, bro. Y'all so personal. No I back to the LSD. I love no, it. We know we gotta, gotta talk about it. it I gotta bro. stop it. I gotta stop it. What you saying, Suave, so bro? Oh man, bro, he's trying to stop the ball. Go ahead. 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 Like, like, that, that, like, when I say I really, really fuck with Kevin, like, that's really my dog, like, my dog. Like, we'll, bro, we're going to jump on this bit one day, bro. Like bro. I said, GPY was lit. Midnight ball. Okay. Everybody going to remember these days. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I wanted to get a little loose because my dog, Lady came in here talking about sports already. And I was telling my wife, all right, I want the people to feel comfortable, bro, because we got politics. We got investment. I don't want y'all to feel like we beating y'all over your head because I... I I had a lot of people hitting us up saying, hey, y'all boys, y'all got real. Oh, that nigga replied to Kevin and said, this preacher, man. Like, we in there be preaching. I fuck with it. Hey, mm -hmm. let's jump on the shit, though, man. Let's jump on the LSD. Let's go ahead. Let's get this, some. Hey, this, I ain't gonna lie. I got a whole bunch of topics that I kind of wanted to run through, and they was all hella deep. No, no. We need you to run through them. That's why we start with LSD, because we seen that in your topics. 
And you said that you was gonna speak on it, nigga. You said it was <laughs> you. Me, you see the title. So what you what you feel about it, bro? What, what was your yeah, how did you how did you feel about it, bro? What is LSD? That's what my question is. What is it? What why is this album so goddamn intricate? Like, all right, you, you, man, I fuck with this nigga heavy, bro. That's you don't even know I fuck with him. But he, no, he, don't, he don't know I fuck with him. He Check me out. I'm trying to wonder why this album is so <sighs> like Kendrick Lamar damn album. Mm -hmm. Like it's better than um, that. Built for no no no. I'm not saying none is better than the other. I'm just saying certain albums, um, only built for Cuban links. It's certain <laughs> album. That when you listen to him, you just gotta be like, bruh, this nigga, like, what? He, like, he had a chart and he wrote out this to go with this and put this with this and put this with this and make this all go together. The way how Kendrick had that whole poem that all came together. Yeah, when people do shit like that, the artist in me takes account how much thought you had to put into doing this shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, wh what the fuck is that, bro? Don't we got to start having a different category for when niggas do that? Royce the 5'9". When, niggas, when niggas come through um, okay. Killer Mike, motherfucking uh, Killer King Mike. Low. And, 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 King Low sometimes. Uh, King Low sometimes. It's sometimes. LP. Yeah, Killer Mike and LP. You know what's going forward with the Run the Jewels. When they come through with a project that's, yes, it's dope. We know it's dope. You could put it on and not know what you're talking about and jam out. But if you want to break it down, and you want to be a nerd like I am sometimes, and you want to get your paper out, and you want to like write down what they're saying and write down how it connects to what and all that shit like that. Mm -hmm. You can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't there gotta be a certain different like that? that, that that's some different shit, ain't it? W what is that shit, bro? Yeah, bro. Just one time, time, go 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 ahead, scoop. One bro, time I was like, reading um, the, the Easter track list. Like and why the like, bitch? Like why the bitch make me want to rethink shit? Like why I listen to this bitch and I gotta pause it and go look up shit? Like. Albums like that, bro. Like, what is that shit, bro? Hey, have you seen the track list yet? We about to run it down right now. Scoop, you, you say you doing it because we looking at it right now. I don't know if you're gonna do it. If you're gonna do, we're gonna allow you to do it. Now, what you was gonna do? Because I, I have nah, my nah. favorites already picked up. Nah, nah, don't don't even pick your favorite out just just yet. But can you like run us down the the names of the songs, or you want me to do that? Run through it, bro. This is your homeboy. You gotta represent better than me. Too, Go ahead, run through it. If you got it, you got it. That's why I put the album cover on the screen because the album cover is what drew me in. Yeah, bro. If you could do that, do that, please. Sure. All right, let me let me go grab that one time. I got LSD. Matter of fact, this is it right here. The album covered the two sons and shit, right? Yeah. Let me pause this. Well, I don't think Mellow Music is going to copyright me. It's the sun and the moon. But I'm going to pause it anyway. And just but to give you guys context, this is more so of the spiritual side of life than the worldly side of life right but mm. you some nice creative just comparisons mm. he has um a song called Nicola Tesla. no 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 i want you to hey, that shit was hard let me, let, me, let me ask you a question is lsd acid no mm. oh, LSD is LSD. in the same sense it, it's it psychedelic is. In, in the sense that it's gonna make you in it but no no but in the same sense it is though that's what I was about to say. I think it is acid because I see it right here with the the, the, the stamp on the tongue. Acid, for sure. And that's what that's what I did as LSD in high school. And somebody, when I got older, told me that that was acid. It is. That's acid. Mm. I'm gonna I'm bring up a difference to y'all right now. Hey, but, but that's what I hey, saw. I wanted to go into that. That's what I was telling you. The difference between the natural entheogens that that we partook in in comparison to the drugs and pharmaceutical that future big pharma was saying mm -hmm. that's what i was trying to tell you molly perkins said like those are all I think acid is watered down lsd you feel me huh i think acid is watered down lsd all right well then i had acid as a jit because it was a white boy i never forget it he used to always have the brownies and then one day when we were skipping he was like hey bro you want one of these and it had looked like a um one of them like little tattoos, you know that's what I'm what about? It is, bro. That's what it is. It's LSD. Yeah. It had like one of them little tattoos, uh -huh. and he was it's like, LSD, Look it. But the thing is, you're not sure how pure it is. But hey, I don't even know if you know this math. Terrence was, um, I, we listened to this dude named Terrence McKenna, and he was going into it like, you know, how we like in the herb world, a gram, right? You, you have one gram. I asked the, the, the acid that hit that you took is only 0.01% of that gram. That's all you need to get to the level that you're getting to. But you don't understand me. That walk from the front of DP to the bus 
to fucking City Walk to get on the 21 bus. When I tell you that wasn't the, but about the trippiest, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, hey, imagine, hey, imagine if you was in the atmosphere <laughs> fitting for it. Like, imagine if you was in the atmosphere. Yes, no, the not, like, no, imagine if I was right now and I could think how I think about shit right now. You know what Ooh, I'm talking about? Even I would like, because I'd be, I'd be lucid dreaming and shit, right? Anybody who know what that is and shit. Mm. And my biggest journey now that I'm lucid dreaming, I heard somebody talk about it and it seems so intriguing. I want to meet my subconscious, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I want to, like, cause you know, when you lucid dreaming, you can just, like, bring shit that you want to see, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to think. Somebody's getting heavy. But I want to be able to goddamn meet my subconscious. But anyways, if I was on some LSD right now, I would definitely be trying to do that shit ASAP. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's, All like, right. the first thing I would do. I'd go right to the shit, like, oh, shit, I'm in it? All right, cool. Hey. So, what hey, Swab, just to even start off, this is going to even show you why the tape is different, because instead of talking about getting on downers and weird shit, now we're getting on psychedelics where we're trying to expand our mind. That's what I'm trying to tell you about LSD, mushrooms, DMT, cannabis, all of these, all of these special plants. You heard me, bro? What's reality? Huh? What's reality? And that's what I'm trying to tell you. And that's the importance of these psychedelics. Because because what it does heard, is... Go ahead. I heard the Buddha. He said some shit that I, I completely agree with. Right? You feel me? He said, if when you dream, right? Mm -hmm. If that motherfucker was to continue the same way that real life continues, like it just starts from the same point every time you go to sleep, mm -hmm. how long would it take before you forget which one is the dream and which one is real life? Right? Boy, mm -hmm. I be having to wake up someone. It's like, bro, do I got a truck outside? I now, so sad. When now, I imagine up, why I he says that. Truck now. Outside. He says I that because when you're in a dream, if you're cognizant of it, everything feels exactly the same, right? Like, yes, I know I'm dreaming, but every all the all the all the like fucking consequences feel well, the same. You about to make us go too deep because I'm trying to tell you, you going just into my room. Now, now, just listen to me now. Now. If you're telling me that right now what I'm in is reality, right? Because I can touch this rum bottle and this rum bottle yeah. feels like a rum bottle. I'm you, that, yeah. you I, I know, but I'm just saying. And you, I'm hearing you. You're giving me feedback that I expect, so I know it's reality, right? Mm -hmm. right. All right. Now, when I was on that acid and one time when I was on that goddamn, um, that other shit, Rayhead gave me, right? Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me that whatever I was seeing wasn't right in front of my face. Hey, that's why I'm glad my dog OJ came on the podcast because he was talking about how we used to smoke blunts of K2 to the face. But are you hearing me though? They have people going crazy on this shit. My dog's but, are you, are you hear me though. You couldn't tell me that what I was seeing was not right in front of my face, like in reality, right? So Bruh, you couldn't tell I could he it all. what he was going through. He couldn't walk across the street. Keep on Bruh, going. I could, I, I could touch the shit and all, whatever, and I'm it would feel like whatever I think I'm seeing. Uh-huh. So yeah. I still owes me one. What I owe, bro? I guess he was on K2, but I told him, I was like, bro, so I've been lying. Because when I came over there, I asked him about it. He was like, bro, this is me one. You can, you can get a gram. Like, he told me, like, an odd number. Like, bro, you can get, like, 10 grams for, like, a dollar. Yeah, he told me. Swap number, like, knows I wasn't on K2. And when I jumped up like that, Swap knew what I was going through. Because I thought I was smoking trees, nigga. So you hit it too hard, you saying. So you blaming Swap. Nigga, I smoke trees, nigga. Bro, you a cancer, bro. Hey, this same shit happened to me in college, bro, to a homeboy named Josh, bro. So I mean, this nigga went, named Josh went through some trouble with the damn camera right now. So I'm finna switch y'all. I'm finna switch y'all over to the big screen so y'all gonna be full size. Right, bro. Me and me and this nigga Josh went to a party, but we drinking our heads off, bro. I guess this nigga say I got him drunk because I mixed light and brown. This nigga was acting weird, bro. That's different, fact, bro. I only want to throw him under the bus, bro. The man threw up. He threw up on my couch, bro. Matter of fact, bro, I'm standing in a dorm. You know I'm on scholarship D1. So he coming like I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, bro. You feel me? I am thugging it, bitch. You can sleep on you. What have you thugging it? You thugging it. Man, my dog, bro, my dog throw up on my sofa, bro, and flip my sofa out and put the inside outside. So now he has to throw up under the bottom of the sofa. So now now we don't know. So like I don't know how much time go by with my roommate. Like, man, that shit stanky fuck, bro. So now he wanna down there buck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand how college is, bro. Niggas need to experience this life, bro. That one thing, man is man. I hate when women try to get in our That's party. the only thing about college, but that shit is funny. Bro, that shit exposes everybody to who they really is. That shit is like, funny. Yeah. And you out there in your by your lonesome. 
nigga. That's why a lot of them misses they they go off the edge. That's the edge Ooh. stuff. <laughs> hey, I think we so we, we made my we made my boy Stephon. We made my boy Stephon be on the card. Huh? Y'all heard me? I say we so lit with the shit. Stefan had done said in the in the comments, he was like, Hey, I'm finna go to sleep, y'all boys. We talk about LSD and shit. My boy stayed on there, like, nah, hell no, them boys speaking. Let me hey chill. man, Stefan gotta stay on here. So let's go in on LSD because it big exactly. okay. Explain so the track. The track list. Yeah, bro. It's 16 track list. Blood Moon, Bones of Osiris, 33, Nigger Christ, Son of Horus. All right, pause, 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 pause. You let it jump in. It's a nigga that I was selling out. S? Oh, that's wild. So you got three shits in? Oh no, nah, that's cool. All right, go ahead. Nah, because my camera had done went off for a second, so I got to do something to put myself back on the screen so they can see me. I'm handsome. <laughs> okay, son of Horus. <laughs> hey, I'm handsome. I forgot I said it. All of Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Agree with you. Oh, y'all listening, bro? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I put I put it up on 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 Apple Music. I got it. All right, okay. so you listen to a couple of them, bro, and then like, like the mute your mic and then tune back in and let us know. Like, stay right here, but I'm saying, let us know. Listen to nigga Christ. Listen to whatever you listen to. Bro. <laughs> okay, twenty four hours, nigga Tesla, Grand Number Theorem, Michael Jackson, LSD, Lunar Solar, Silence of the Lambada, Wings of Icarus. Mm. They had si- si- silence of the lamb by the breath. Y'all know anything about silence of the lamb? Y'all know like, the wings of Icarus, bro. The wings of Icarus. We remember Icarus. You know, Icarus. Mm. Yeah. hey, who class was the was? What the lady class? What the lady? lady, lady, lady why do we remember this? Mishair. Mishair. Why do we remember these things so vividly? Hey, bro? y'all, my niggas, vivid in my head. You know, you know why? You know why we remember some things so vividly, bro? Because certain yeah. things, bro. It's um, interesting. Certain things just spark a certain part of your brain, bro. Mm-hmm. And it just make you, if you were thinking, motherfucker, bro, it just make you be like, huh? Because I got kids, bro. I keep going back to that because that's like, Ooh. I think the best, the best. I got, yeah, man, fuck that. Bro, you got to stop saying that, bro. Damn white man language. I don't even want to speak English power. anyway. I wish I had another language to speak. But I anyway. Did, but word time. Ooh, power, yeah, so yeah, be careful of that shit. So what I was going to say. Yeah, so now I got my... Hey, my, the natives my, got wiped out fucking with them white people's shit, but keep on going. <laughs> they on reservations. Nigga traded some wrong shit off. Look, now, that I, now that I got my jits and shit, right, I be thinking, and I be like, um, I be like, just watching them, how they how they observe shit, right? And certain shit you say around them, bro, they just catch on to that shit, and they just listen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And certain shit you say, it just go in one ear, out the other and shit, but just certain shit you say, bro, they just catch on to that shit. And they listen so good. Cause it's like it's just an innate thing, bro. If you a thinking person, bro, and that shit go down to even being a fucking baby damn near, bro. Like hundred percent. If you observing shit, bro, you hear a motherfucker talk about God and the universe and all type of shit like that. You just want to listen, like yeah, ghosts and witches and all type hey. of shit. You're like, huh? Witchcraft? What the fuck? Hey. What are you talking about over there? That's where the most high come in because the most high said that where there's more than one gathered in my name, there I am. Because he was talking about when we share that energy, like right now, when we're sitting right here, one of these black pictures right here, the most high sitting down right here watching these boy, like man, these boy dumb and out. Look at my sons. That's when he appears, bro. When more than one motherfucker dwells in the man's name, bro, and speaks on him. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. When we get on the spiritual shit, we not these weird old niggas, and I want to get away from that shit. Like I don't got no problem with these niggas, but don't make the don't make it like that. He Check me out. He had a lot, bro. He gave it up different, bro. I a hundred percent would like. He was a Nazarite. I, you be honest, our album. If I'm gonna be honest, bro, I don't I don't heard certain shit and been like, man, that shit sound like some old made up bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. But after upon two occasions being in some shit that I just deemed to be a whole nother type of reality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. That shit got me feeling like, man, niggas don't know what the fuck they be talking about, bro. Bro, that's like, what I'm telling you about these, 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 these. Niggas don't know what they're talking about, bro. That's why niggas are taking downers, bro. That's why I'm trying to explain to you. So that's the difference in our community. So right, right. Now, we're going to this. Any, anybody that lucid dreamed can't tell me they don't believe in spirits and ghosts and shit like bro, that, right bro. Now because we're talking about this LSD, bro. Listen to the content of this album. Like even when, even when I speak on Kendrick Lamar. I speak on Kendrick Lamar and I speak on Absol, and I know Kendrick Lamar make better music, but I try to tell you Absol topic. I remember Absol. Yeah, play with me, bro. I know my music, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, listen to me. I wish I could meet Haile Selassie. Yeah, I, 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 duality, bro. 
bro. You can't bother talking about duality. I feel like low key he talking about a nigga like me, bro. I'm ratchet as fuck, yes, but I'm also a little bit in tuned, and if not trying to be more in tune with, you know what I'm saying, other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, the man, the man, episode said, I wish I could meet Haile Selassie. I maybe my sovereignty will still be mine. If all the gangs in the world unified, we'll stand against, we'll stand a chance against the military tonight. Like, we don't understand the power we got, bro, but we don't, we, we don't go off sovereignty no more. And that's why I don't like black people. Like, I don't really get into this politics. If, like, me personally, I got a belief, but I don't want to force it on you. But, like, if even without forcing it on you, this is the only black king we have. Let's look to something greater because, like, y'all always say y'all kings and shit. Who the fuck is y'all kings? Who the fuck was the king that y'all know? If y'all not big enough, ain't the only black king we had, my dude. We had the Kush, we had the Kush Empire right here, ah, slanging and banging ah. and manging shit. Why? But they had a lot of they had a lot of women too in their in their in their fucking no, in their no. shit, bro. They, bro, their shit was ran by a woman, the Candy Cays. Yeah, but that, that that's misleading when people say that the women just pick the men who ran. So actually, it's just like how our uh, civilization is, where the rich people pick the politicians. But it's kind of like that. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to only run if a woman designated you as like, oh, oh, yeah, this nigga can do it. All right. That's the only way you came to any position in Africa through the mother. Isn't that the way life house should be, though? Through the mother is the only way you come to anything in this planet. And and Africans always understood that it was never. A, I'm trying to tell you, bro, what when, when I was when I was watching the feminism, I'm like, bro, this shit all about white people. Like, we don't have nothing to do with this weird shit, bro. We like we Remember get into it, it, but it's like, bro, we don't have we don't own anything like we can control you from going to work. Like we will want you to go to work, but like us as a man, we don't want you to go to work as like as a man. But it'll help. Yeah. So like we're not fighting you from going to work. Like they're putting so much weird things on weird people. Like hold on, what you mean? Like we're not fighting you from going to work. But yeah. go ahead. I am in no ways a hood nigga, but I'd have been to jail, right? Mm-hmm. When I was in that bit, right? Mm-hmm. A nigga had seen me. You know what I'm saying? I would change it in my shit. He was like, "What that is a cross right there?" You feel me? Yeah, and no. then I was. I was like, nah, I ain't had an onk. But I was like, nah, bro, it was supposed to be a cross. But I don't know what the nigga who was doing, who attacked me up, he just must have ain't want to make a cross. He made that bitch into like some fucking point and shit and just going around in like some compass to the, like a sun or some shit. Ooh, and then the cross is. Just check me out now. And then I told the nigga that, like I was mad. Like he, I told him just put a cross right here in the middle of my chest above Jamaica and shit. This nigga put a sun and some shit coming off it. And then the nigga was like, yeah, because he didn't want to put that gay ass shit on your chest. And I was like, what is Brett talking about? This gay ass <laughs> shit on my chest. He was like, "Yeah, he really probably wanted to put an onk on your chest, but he um, but you asked for a cross." And I was like, "What the fuck made the cross gay?" He was like, "Cause the onk represents a man and a woman and some shit, some shit." Uh, uh, he was feminine. like, "Feminine." And he was like, "That cross is some European shit. That's like that's basically two penises right there you seeing." Hey, and that's I was like, hey, that's basically your homeboy getting shot by thirty um a Glock nine, and all you wear is Glock nine shirts for the rest of your life. <laughs> like, how how are you bigging me up? <laughs> exactly, bro. But then what was crazy about it? I, I was telling him the shit, and he was like, "Bro, that nigga who tattooed you, bro, he ain't want to put no damn cross on you. That's what happened." And I was like, damn, that's crazy, bro. Like, this nigga just go goddamn do some other shit. I promise you, I asked for a, a fucking regular cross on my on my fucking shit. I got some whole other shit. I come to find out, got all type of good ass meaning, but th- th- I ain't had asked for that at first, bro. So that's why I'm coming back to LSD, bro. It's some people that's taking these actual antigens to get to a level, and some niggas taking drugs to get drugged the fuck down. If you want to remember- take drugs, do your thing. <laughs> drugs are bad. I was, bro. I was the head of the Dare program. To this day, I stand on Dare. Look at me. To this day, I stand on Dare. In, ja- in Jamaica. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. The Rasta bros, because, you know, my dad a pastor and shit, so, you know, I'm banging. I was banging heavy on them boys. You know what I mean? I was, too, because one day one of them came up to my mom and wanted her to be a wife. I was like, man, I'll fucking kill a Rasta, but bitch-ass niggas. What they talking to my mom about? Bro, my mom, bro, my mom married to my dad. Bro, my dad whoop your ass, jit. <laughs> so, like, even though I was on Rastas, I was mad after that day that a Rasta sized my mom. So, like, I was kind of off of them. Just check me out now. Mm-hmm. So... I'm goddamn sizing them boys and all that shit. Them boys say, them boys, I, I was trying to smoke some weed. I was seeing them. In fact, I was still a little too young at this time, but I was just looking at them. Mm-hmm. And them boys were like, you know, say, I smoke the herbs to get into the word, probably read the Bible I or read something. And, and you smoke the herbs to always get into a space 
to kind of understand something or maybe enjoy something, but you have to understand what you're doing when you're using the herbs. Mm -hmm. Nice to be like, all right, bro, like y'all boy, like y'all just smoking and chilling. Though. Nah, man, we're reasoning. Uh, we're talking I hate, with him. I hate and we are reasoning. Look, the people, because people don't understand that it's a big difference between two niggas sitting like this. Like two niggas would be sitting just like this, bro. And like as a as a nigga that really ingest the herb, you will know the nigga that's high as fuck. And you will know the nigga that's really in his mind trying to figure some shit out, like damn near trying to figure out how to fuck to stop white people from fucking being born. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but weed does not make you high out of your mind. Bro, I hate high people, bro. I tell my wife that all the time, bro. Niggas that play basketball, but like T I'm high as fuck. What? Let me tell you the only time I excuse it is if you've never smoked weed or you don't smoke weed time. regularly. Your first time. Or if you don't smoke it regular, like you smoke Boy, it once every blue moon. Occasional last nigga. Because then, yes, you're gonna be pooted. You ain't gonna know what's going down. <laughs> you know what? I'm about? If you the, thing, the, the herb is a healing process. So if your body has cancer cells and all that stuff, you, your your body's gonna feel it. So you say either way, it's still good, even if they're not using it for the benefits of reason. Yeah, but. and that's why you can continue to do it because when you wake up in the morning after the healing process, you feel good, your body feels good, and you're like, hold on. Yeah. What was I was that? raised by the hoodest of niggas, so I don't smoke plenty of cigarette and tobacco and um black and mild, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a bitch ain't never had to tell me, right, mm-hmm. that a black and mild in a cigarette ain't supposed to really be in your lungs, even if we put it in there. It just hey, feels you you had to tell me that. You remember when I first started smoking oh, black and yeah, mild? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to always smoke because because I didn't smoke weed and I thought weed was the worst thing to smoke. <laughs> they used to be like, what the fuck you got going? How you gonna smoke tobacco? I still have a problem with that, bro. That irks me. How bro. you gonna smoke tobacco and not weed? Legalization, bro. I'm yeah. trying to tell you, me yeah. as a basketball player swap, I didn't want to ruin my imitation. I know if I if I got caught smoking a black, I, I was I smoked the black. I don't smoke blacks, but nigga, at worst, nigga, I smoked the black as a jet. Tell me. I it, once I pulled the weed, bro, something always told me, bro, that like this shit probably is okay to be in your lungs, bro. It just feel, it just feel different. Bro, you know what I'm talking about? Me that shit, you like T? Nah, you don't do it like that. You, I was like, hold on, what? I'm just blowing and blowing out. You like, yeah, bro. It's like, it's like a weird head hot. I was like, oh fuck it, this what it is. <laughs> what it is. I'm gonna get dizzy as fuck. <laughs> Crazy. I remember Brent fucking forcing my eye to smoke and that fucking shit. Hey, bro, nah, bro, hit that bit. Let me see. <laughs> nah, like, there you go. Now hold it. There you go. There you go. I remember I was bro, high fuck. Said, bro, me and Scoop always talking about some some real deal Friday niggas, some old niggas that used to be shooting niggas off the roof with BB guns. Topics, bro. Scoop ain't here, but he probably don't get mad as fuck around no topics. Just sitting right Check here. Check me bro. out. Check me out. Just 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 ponder with me for a second, right? Mm-hmm. He got his notebook, so he gonna say something important. That's what be on the podcast. Keep on going. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can see me on the live. Goddamn, I fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn, um, Dr. Dre and his wife going through this divorce. Have you seen anything about it? Have you heard it? Like, tell me something. Let me tell you one cool shit. Do you know the fastest way to make a billionaire a millionaire? Divorce is there. You just watched it. <laughs> you just watched it. Hey, a white man like hey, a white man like your boy Steve Jobs. I, hey, I was just complaining about Steve Jobs the other day. Cause I I think his wife got like seventy two billions, but it seventy two billion. But they say this man make twenty eight billion a minute or some crazy shit like that. The man make twenty eight billion dollars a minute or some crazy shit like that. Talking about Jeff Bezos, who's Jeff Bezos, bro. I see Jeff Bezos. R.I.P. to him, bro. He's a good nigga too. I got you. I came up with the save. I fuck with you. You goddamn, goddamn Jeff. Um, Bezos got to be one of the illest niggas because he let his wife get that fucking. What 500 million, right? A little mm-hmm. bit of money. He let her get that 500 million. And something in my brain, because I had worked for Amazon. The nigga like me, the, this goddamn a Walmart job working on them damn cars and shit, been the longest job I had for this damn whole year. You feel me? I never been at a job for no whole year. I'm always in and out of jobs. As soon as some money come in from music, I'm like, you know what? I'm quitting. But anyway, <laughs> so I worked at Amazon and I know how much money Jit, Jit was getting, right? So I was like, 500 million? He only had a billion dollars? Ain't no way him and Jay-Z had the same amount of money. That's how critical my brain is. You know what I'm talking about? Bro, what was you saying about 500 million? What was what, what, that 500 million you saying? That what she got. Bro. Whatever, whatever happened. 19.7 million shares of Amazon stock or 4% of the entire company worth no, no, 36 billion is no, what no, 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 no. worth. 
worth is different because she hasn't sold them yet. She don't have to sell shit, that. nigga. These are Amazon stocks. They doing nothing I but going know. up. She came up with pennies to what he made, though. No, no but not, I'm going to tell y'all, but not 500 hey, million. She got 36 hey, mil. Hey, 500 pennies million. to a trillionaire. Two. No, no, no. So just chill. She she don't gotta spend that trillion that that them billions yet because she got actual five hundred million dollars cash. Bro, cash is out. Look, ex wife Mackenzie Bezos cash is out three hundred and seventy million Amazon stock. Bro, this lady just donated seven billion to fucking some Black Lives Matter weird shit. This right, lady bro. is getting it. Listen, to me. not five hundred million though. That's a whatever. Number, that's cool. Whatever number you're gonna state, the nigga goddamn let all that shit go through, right? Mm-hmm. And then right as that shit went through, right, mysteriously then, oh, shit started going the fuck up or shit started selling good. And oh, shit. Yeah. By the way, I'm a trillionaire now. No, no. It just happened. Money, bro. It just, just happened. I just became a trillionaire. No, Crazy it happened money. in the last couple of minutes. It, 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 wasn't in the, it wasn't in the works. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it already happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that thing about that shit, what? bro. Yeah. What the heck? But all right, so check me out. This is what I want really want to get to, right? We still on LSD though, so don't go too far, bro. <laughs> no, we not. We, I'm not. You gonna you gonna like if I circle it back? So check right, me out. Right. Dr. Dre and his wife, right? Mm-hmm. Dr. Dre did the, the did the thing that most motherfuckers with a thinking mind would say is the sucker move. You know what I'm talking about? He had the motherfucking the bit who he had a regular bit at first, right? Like a regular black bit, his bit, right? He upgraded, as as niggas would say, to the the, the Hollywood image of a bit, nice, pretty looking model bit, right? They go through the shit. They go through the shit. He amassed a whole wealth, a whole fortune, all this shit. They do good. They they getting a divorce now. The kids is already like out of the picture. They grown now. She done waited too long, damn now. So that's fucked up. So the kids out of the picture. So now they getting a divorce. And he tries to start hitting them with some 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 doo wop. But she didn't know that, like, unbeknownst to her, Bruh had had done made sure that shit got signed that says, you know what I'm saying, we each give what we, what we each going to leave with what we own came with, right? Oh, so he only lost a little bit. No, not even she a little bit. She thought he ripped it up. Exactly. She thought it was oh, some shit. He damn near. Exactly. So she was trying to hit him for, like, a couple millions while the court case is going on. This is how she figured out. A couple millions while the court case is going on to goddamn upstain her lifestyle to keep up appearances, so to speak, right? Whoa. And during that, they Fuck come that to bitch. find out Fuck it's a that prenup. Bitch. It's a prenup yeah, that I got a no, be cursing. <laughs> a prenup that got a no alimony clause on top of everything else, too. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, go ahead, bro. I, I, I got Jeff, Jeff Bezos game too, just to throw myself on the got hit with the, So he got hit with the whoop de doop, right? Yeah. She turns to, all right, see, I don't want to make it sound like that, but she turns to social media for some, you know what I'm saying, some aid. From the, from the, from the, from the exactly. From the feminist woman. And they're going in on, bro, talking about somehow <laughs> she, she, she fucking helped build all this shit and da 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 and da 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 da. And I'm just trying to figure out. How does that work? Because I just watched a whole bunch of girls pray, city girls, and all these motherfuckers who I can play you the, the fucking li- uh, lyrics where they saying shit about take money from a duck ass suck ass nigga. Bitch. So how is it bad you when it is that you can't make him a suck ass nigga? I got an illest deja vu just now anyway too. But go Bitch, ahead. you wasn't with me shooting damn. in the gym. That's the one shit that deja vu that too. Said, damn near, bro. I don't know if Drake said it, bro, but that's Drake shit, bro. Ross said it. Ross, That's great shit though, bro. You know, with me shooting in the gym, I'm, I'm giving that to Drake, bro. That's huh? fucked up. That I'm giving shit to Drake, bro. But Ross said it though, bro. But I'm giving it to Drake. But keep on doing it, bro. But we bro, like bitches really gotta understand that. And I don't want to say bitches. That's disrespectful. But to to your same point on that um on that point of bro being ahead of the game, Jeff Bezos is also ahead of the game. I guess he. His name is on the stock because he still has her voting rights. So it's basically still his stocks in a sense. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So she only got the 500 million that was originally the settlement. I knew what I was talking about, bro. Well, she's still part of the stocks, though. So she like he can't cut it out. Yeah, eventually. But a nigga with that type of money, I'm going to wait you out in court. His lawyer going to be better than her lawyer. <laughs> Look, no, not even that. I'm going to stall you out until you get married. He got to pay for her lawyer anyways. But keep on going. So I'm... Yeah, but I'm going to pay for a shitty one. 
You know what I'm saying? Like his, uh, after the after the divorce, I'm talking about his his lawyer, lawyer nigga, who going to find out how they gonna get out of paying her that money. He gonna be raw to her lawyer. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, I heard a lot of Hollywood niggas crying, bro, crying, <laughs> bro, crying down to their socks, bro. So I know it's real, bro. You know who crying? Really, the going? game, the game, really one of the rappers that really got hit very hard. Bro, my dog King Lin here, bro. I got a shot, King Lin. King Lin, one of my other favorite homies. He was, he was, he was, he was, that last Luka was paying his wife twenty thousand a month. Do you Ooh. know what twenty thousand a month is? Who doing that? Antoine Fisher, I think. That's nigga on the Lakers, right? He on the Lakers. Broke. And he bomb. And he bomb too. Oh, Antoine Fisher. Who was that? I'm tripping. Bomb, Who's nigga? Bro. Huh? Who's the nigga that's on the Lakers, bro? Ball head, bro. Derek Fisher. Okay, that's what it was. He a bomb too. Hey, but the thing is, Matt Barnes just retook his wife from Derek Fisher. Matt he got a bit back. I fought with Matt Barnes, but he weird dude. Oh, Sammy, you know what twenty thousand a month is to not? That's not child support. That's alimony. Oh, weird, bro. He wanted to bit back after all that. Bro, Hollywood is weird, but we seen a nigga put a noose around his neck and walk her into a fucking a fucking hotel. Bro. I consider Matt Barnes to be one of the realest niggas in it. I Y'all already know he's a real Hollywood person. He's so a real Hollywood person. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that nigga took the magic jersey off, threw that bitch to the crowd. Give me twenty five thousand. But bro, that's what I was saying. Black people taking downers, and when we get to this LSD, bro, when we look at the track list, it's different. When we listen to the bars, it's different. Scoop, what was your favorite John that you said you were fucking with? Bro, really, really on a basic level, like on a relate relation level, I like that twenty four hours now, bro. I love it for some reason. But I my- love it because it ain't that deep as the other ones, but I just love what he's saying in that bit. Right. And I love what he's doing with the hours. Was there any takeaway from it? Bro, 24 hours ain't shit, essentially. Um, I'm saying, like, in a sense, like, did you see anything in 24 hours that made you be like, I love it, but this may be oh, like this. It, it's the... um. Bro, I don't know. It gave, it just gave me a feeling. It gave me a different feeling, bro. I don't know if it was the melody of it. I don't know what it was, bro, but it definitely gave me a different feeling. And I felt like people who don't, like, are not into consciousness, maybe not even at all, would be attracted to that shit. It's something that they can absorb. It's something that they can relate to. It's something that they can understand. Am I a weird ass, bro? What's up? Was weird I, don't, about you. I don't get this whole not into consciousness thing, Bruh, I, bro. I but but look look swab look let let's be honest. That's and why I, 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 swab. That's why when I big cam bought up and I big scoop up and I big up like different artists, bro. You got a big scoop up, but you don't but you don't be peeping how I be putting the, the medicine in the candy though. But it's uh, hot. No, what are you talking about, bro? I always big you up, nigga. I told you about that fucking front row, bro. I told you about how I even knew about your jits, and I like that from people music, like as an artist, bro, like as a as a fan of music, bro. Oh, you peep that? What? You peep that? I be trying to really be an artist, bro. Hey, that make me feel good that you peep that. I ain't gonna that's, that. and, and that's the and that's the one shit I always tell Scoop. I love the I love how comfortable. It seems as if you are on the track. I always tell school. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's what I nigga nigga. Tell me out. I know for a fact. Even if you don't play ball all the time, nigga, you're not gonna lie to me. I know you, nigga. You love going on there and dicking off on a nigga in that ball. No homo. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You like going in there and just goddamn, oh, nigga, I'm raw as fuck doing that little weird ass shot like uh, mm-hmm. uh, off me, nigga. It's you know always good to get some like moments it. back, bro. Even though like you don't want to dwell on it, but it's all even. To get, not even to get it back, bro. It's just I don't know, bro. I feel like. I don't know, bro. When you can do something good as fuck, bro, it's always something about that shit, bro. It's always something about it, bro. I don't care what it is. That's probably why some of these girls get so empowered. Damn, we the call back kings. It's probably why some of these girls get so empowered to do some of that nasty shit they do. It's because I know the feeling of robbing niggas and getting positive feedback from some bros from doing something that I know is bad. Even though I know it's bad, you get some of this positive feedback, girls liking all the new fucking shoes I can buy now and shit that it make you feel like this is good. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm, bro. Bro, but I'm trying to... Back, back to the um, LSD. We going back to LSD, LSD, bro. Like I said, bro. Scoop said he was fucking with the 24 hours, bro. Swap. You Tesla? Are you was fucking with the Nikola Tesla. What else? Uh, definitely um, nigga Christ. Fucking with the nigga Christ. What's the one with the fall and the fall and what's your call it? I love that vibe too. The fall of the Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it got a different vibe, but I'm fucking with 
I like that one. Numbers, the um like being fake bros that just come on shit and act like they they just you know what I'm saying familiar as fuck with the shit. The nigga said what the nigga said, the nigga said the cue was just a oh when it take a piss. I said that shit way less cooler than bro. Yo, yo, he went in on the whole numbers, bro. Yes, bro. That was banana. Did you hear the Nikola Tesla about nigga like we the ancient ones, nigga? I got like, did you hear the like, bro? Like what I'm trying to tell you, it's a it's a difference between taking downers and a nigga trying to expand his fucking mind, bro. And you can see it as clear as day. Was it wasn't that the one where he was like, nigga, solar energy is easy, nigga. How about lunar? But you know, you know it's crazy though. To me, that's crazy that you say that by taking the, the um, downers and the uppers. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how when niggas was back when niggas was doing LSD back in the day and shit like that, jazz when they was doing um I ain't go I do not advocate this, so don't 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 pigeonhole me, but heroin and shit was just opium and shit like that, right? Them it's, funk niggas. How, it's crazy how they was making music that just like it just needed so much more, bro. You had to have so much more going on, bro. Like it's almost as if you remember when I came on and I was like, what type of music is this where you can break it down and da 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 da, right? Mm-hmm. Those niggas musically, you can do that with their music. Like you can break down what chords they're using, how they shifting from this to this, and what made them put this bridge in here. Like it's something about that type of shit that opens your mind up to just right. where like you know, the basic shit ain't gonna cut it. Look at her looking cute, man. Hey, I'm trying to have a, a little baby girl coming in soon. So you, uh-uh. you, you fucking my girl up, hey, babe. <laughs> you talking about that, nigga. I'm, I got I got two little girls, nigga. I'm I'm, I'm hoping we, we might we for sure we got, we got a boy right now. But I'm trying to get a basketball five starting five going down. Oh no, I ain't playing five. Five is a five. Five is a, is, is is weak to me. We about that. We about de- oh, as weak to you. Oh, now you should. I'm, right, I'm at least I'm at least saying ten. But I'm trying to tell you, I was telling my wife I gotta have at least more than everybody I know, and I know a nigga with twelve. Oh, you tripped up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm about. Be- that nigga had 21. But I told you, like, we might, I don't know, we, we might have multiple wives, more than likely. I don't know. We like we're we, we gonna dumb out, bro. We're gonna dumb out, bro. We dumb out. Had one with two different women. Two nah. women, bro. My granddad had 21 kids, two with the first girl, and 19 with my granddad and grandma. That's how you gotta do it. That's how the world made, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be fruitful to multiply, bro. The ass of kids, my G. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Bro, I was going to get into the funk and the P-funk, bro, because that's some of my favorite music, bro, to get into, really. Speaking on that kind of different conscious level that them boys is on, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, bro. And their music is, they music got to be some of the best music ever made in life. Check me out. Even when you find themselves, them boys making like a repetitive hook in a song, you got to listen to what the music is doing and think about the fact that they playing that music live like come on man stop right them niggas got what's that song bro I, I listen to that bitch in my truck with that wham bro and it's like they 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 start off it's after the love is gone and they start off and they say then they build that bitch up but if you're not a fan of music you will really get how crazy they went on that song bro with all live instruments and all live voices that shit is insane to me, bro. Swab, bro. What was you fucking with, bro? I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm I'm even re-listening to it right now, bro. What what you was fucking with, bro? Did did did, did you get a chance to really peep into it? I, I gave it to yeah. one pass. You know what I'm talking about? Like a, a one pass listen. Mm-hmm. And a couple of them jumps jumped out to me. But this is the type of music. That's what I was saying before. Who a nigga like me? I ain't gonna even lie to you and say that I can even digest this type of music listening to the album all in one pass. You know what I'm talking about? Like you can though, bro, with this one, bro. You know, I don't it's mean that. It's different like, than conscious. You know, it's different than all the other conscious like, niggas that I've ever heard try to do rap. Oh you know, no, no, this nigga is different for sure. Like, it's like it's raw rap, bro. It's like he's a rapper. He's a rapping ass rapper. You're not getting me. I'm not saying that I can't get what he's saying and get the punchline. It's like just that. the words and the bars yeah, and the references. Yeah. You know, like, I want to soak it in and like, goddamn, listen to it and goddamn, be like, oh, this what the fuck, bro, talking about like, like albums like that. Those are the type of albums where I gotta just like on a day where I ain't doing nothing, just roll me up two, three blunts of some shit and just go on the porch and just goddamn listen to them bend, just goddamn, you know what I'm talking about, like. So like, bro, what did you figure out about not getting kicked off? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to figure out what songs y'all fucking. I'm gonna tell you, bro. There's some songs on here, bro. Bro, play 24 hours, bro. 
Man, bro, it's some shit on here, bro. Swar, what is your rule? The intro was stupid. The intro was what got me into it. I'm like, damn. While it's playing, that's the only thing. You should probably check the weather more. Hot leather pool. Check his pulse. Yeah, that nigga's dead for sure. Ready get resurrected in the belly of pregnant hole. Smell fit. This thing's in here. Smells like hot pork. When police are scared, yeah. Every time I kill a bear, I'm eating the bear. Yeah, smell fair, nose pick up a beast in head. Whoa, D five four five, beast in bed. Yeah, C fly, no song, release the yeah. What? D five four four, the beast in bed. Crack baby, ghetto lord. Turn bad when they get ignored. Never yours. I'm a king with a sword and a stone. I'ma get the sword. Got the keys. Ali 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 oxen free. Cops on me. Squally watching on the block for me. I got the trees. Molly oxy and I got the E. Box on me. Mama wanna get a twat. And I told you the main reason why I fought with this because I felt like this was like the least lyrical one, but like everything he was saying was so poignant. Like if you really listen back to it, it's like, oh yeah, that's oh I, I know what that means. All right, I know what that means. But like it was just so relatable. He used the beat, he used the same yeah, like, cadence. What you saying? Yeah, I'm finna I'm finna run to the store real quick. I'm gonna leave y'all up on the screen so y'all just run it, all right? Hey, do your thing, bro. If you coming back, but we are gonna be in here for sure. Yeah, I come back. I'm just gonna put y'all up on the screen. Oh, so, do your thing, bro. It's just gonna be up. On right, let's tune into the let's tune into the commenters, nigga. While we got a break. All right. Maze and Frankie, they them they them ones. Oh, 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 somebody, somebody speaking on that J Electra. I decided out J Elect. You know, you, you know, I'm fucking with the J Elect. Yeah, I'm with Kingler, nigga. Bull, nigga. Ten years for that bullshit, bull, nigga. See, that's the thing. Like I you said, you could have gave us that shit on any random day. It's some, it's some great content that you're dropping, but it don't take that long to create that that piece of art. You could have dropped that in a month, nigga, bull. It take, a, it, take it take a long time to cure yeah, art. Like you gotta make sure you curate art now, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, how y'all feel about deluxe albums? Y'all feel like that? Y'all feel like that's a good move, bro? Deluxe albums used to be deluxe albums used to be good, bro. But not the only reason why niggas is dropping deluxe is so they shit can chart again. And I think that shit corny, bro. I, bro, my favorite rapper, Lil Wayne, bro, died. He died. He's he's he one of the he he one of the least talented niggas in the game right now. Hey, I'm, I was listening to that nigga. That nigga said I blew that. What he said, bro? He ain't got it no more. But that he nigga said, I'm that. smoking on that red. My eyes red off that shit that I blew. White person. I'm like, damn. What the fuck happened to this nigga? Bro, I'm not going to knock him, bro, because that's one of my guys. But I'm going to say he's calcified, bro. That man, bro. That, he on downers. He on downers. Bro, that's what I'm trying to say. Eventually, bro, you're going to get to that point that all you think of is what you think of. You, you can't think he think that shit good. You can't think he go in the booth like, man, I'm still that nigga, 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 nigga. What you mean? Why not? I don't know, bro. Why not? Well, the Carter, the Carter Five, he said the Carter Five was, um, and I like the Carter Five. I like the Carter Five. I like the Carter Five. The Carter five. I, I, didn't like, I didn't like a lot of them. You remember when he was trying to do like the droughts and the other ones and then like the last one, like the Dedication Six or... One of them shits was ass. One of them medications got terrible. One of them shits was ass. I'm not going to like, how could you do this to these? You know what these mean. But you understand, bro, when my whole objective is to flood your airway with music, if I don't have enough, I'm trying to tell you, bro, the reason why I don't fare, like, that's why I tell Swab and all of us, we need to get on here every day. The reason why I don't fare, bro, because we study continuously, bro. So right. like, every day, bro, we're going to continuously have something new to talk about. So it's not going to be like we just dry it out. Like, nigga, we're going to we're gonna always elevate our game. Eventually, y'all going to see us on some different shit. Y'all going to be like, damn, these was some boys, nigga, doing shit in front of a little, just in, in the house or some shit. Nigga, gonna start blowing in this bitch. You feel me? So eventually, bro, it's going to get there, bro. But a lot of these niggas, bro, maybe they never had it and we wasn't listening. But I went back and I listened. And I was like, bro, Wayne is still him who he was then. Bruh, it's like, the thing, it's like the thing where I, I think about, like, I used to think Wayne was, like, the conscious, bruh. 
because we always knew that he studied psychology and I used to listen to a lot of his songs and I used to get like a different message from that shit. Like he really talking about some shit, bro, but it's just kind of coded and it sounds fly as fuck. Hey, so I'll maybe people don't even understand what he's saying. Nah, for sure he's even sick. Night Mask from the bottom is like a deeper, like a deeper type of song. Bro, even bro, I'm trying to tell you for sure. I can go find so much Wayne songs a little bit. Like, oh, this nigga conscious than the fuck. But I'm telling you. It get lost in the swag. The same thing with Cat Williams. I remember Cat Williams was telling us about the the um the jits taking Ritalin, and how his jit went from playing to sitting down thinking about playing. And he was making a joke about it, but the joke was so funny that it was like, ah. and then then we had a nigga like Dr. Umar Johnson come out and say, "Hey, you got to stop letting your kids go to these school psychologists. They're di- right. they're diagnosing your kids wrong. They're giving them Ritalin. They're slowing them down." Like. He right. came out after that shit, and I'm like, hold on, Cat Williams did this joke 2008. Way back when, bro. I'm just trying to show you, like, sometimes the message, the message, the, the, the actual message to get lost in the art of some shit. That's why yeah. I really want us to come on. Like, even I was saying, when we get your podcast up and running, I want to really go into the album. Like, the same way we're going, on the cat, going in on the Cam, Cam Bottle album. I want to have more time where it's just me and you, nigga. Niggas come in, but we just sitting down with it. I don't know how we have to do it. Like I said on YouTube, bro, just fuck the monetizing, bro. We just have to have niggas just donating to the cause, bro, because we're not going to be monetizing, but we're going to be playing artists and shit. Like, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about that one, bro. I'm on that shit. I'm on that shit from a music perspective. I'm thinking on that one, though. But you either got, way, now you either got way we're going to have to figure that shit out. Yeah, bro. As long as we get it to look appealing, that's the look. We don't want it to be a a, a bad look just because we want to force something in there. But like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We definitely want like because right now, bro, I really want to go through this LSD because I know a lot of niggas don't even know what LSD is, and I'm trying to tell you like it was so much little shit that bro from the tape, bro, was the the fucking the, the the name choices he chose. Like the nigga Christ. I know you was fucking with the nigga Christ. Bro, did you hear the bones of Osiris? Like, bro, when I say, bro, the man has some. Nah, let me see. Yeah. Solar powered airplane. Following the daylight. Never have to say night. Never have to see dark. Hoping I could stay bright. Never end in theme park. No, I got the wing dark. Flowing like a free hawk. Motion to the. You listen to it. You ought to check that out, on lady. Huh? You ought to check out the Cambada yet? Yeah, I, I I listened to a couple of track, but and me, I for me to concentrate and shit, I have to be in a car in the road and shit. Like, hey, too hey, much. hey, that makes sense. But I definitely want you to tune in. That that's what I was just telling Scoot right now. We got to set it up better where we get a little more time in advance to digest the art. Yeah. But yeah, bro, I, I definitely wanted to go in on that shit. Swap said he ran to the store. So I'm really trying to see what... <laughs> I'm trying to see what his goddamn topics was. People too sensitive in 2020. Way too sensitive, my nigga. Where y'all watch... Where y'all seeing them comments at? Like, on Facebook or YouTube? On Facebook. On Facebook. Let me go check out the live stream on YouTube while, while we... Bullshit. Why you front like you never wanted nothing, nigga? I remember Drake used to talk that shit. Yeah, bro. I tell you, bro. I feel like YouTube. Like, on Facebook right? or YouTube? On Facebook. On Facebook. That's shit, bro. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. I feel like YouTube be hating on me, but hey, we are gonna keep on pushing, nigga. I said, like I said, I seen a lot of new niggas subscribing, so eventually, nigga, they ain't gonna be able to fucking block us out too long. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. But yeah, I wanted to go in on some shit, but I don't really want to go in on too much. I know Swag so got some topic. I know we're gonna talk about the Kamala shit in a little bit. And, and, and what you saying, Scoop? You sure about that? About what now? About who Joe Biden chose as his VP? Oh, that shit done. That shit a done deal. What you call it? I already had an uproar on uh, social media. I don't know if you've seen what Swab sent us in the um in the what you call it. And that's why I sort of kind of want to wait for him for that topic. But I that wouldn't. shit was funny to me, boy. But it's to be expected, no matter how old and how supposedly smart people are supposed to get, it don't always work like that, bro. See, I told you, that's why I be wanting them people in the pod, bro, because I just want to be able to pick their brain just so they can see both sides and we can have a 
a tangible conversation where they actually know you and you actually know them instead of just like fictitious numbers. Like I can show them actual numbers that approve everything they're saying incorrect. Everything falsely. Everything falsely. Bro. Why did they choose to do that thing? Or like, is, is Trump so vocal? Like, bro, we talked about this last podcast with Lil Haiti. We talked about the podcast before. It bro. has to keep being brought up, bro, because this shit is crazy. Bro, yeah. you know, Matter of fact, because Suave ain't have this in this shit, so let's just add some little juice to this shit with some politics. I even posted this shit, bro. How y'all feel about what Trump did with the executive order, bro? I don't know, uh, little Haiti, I don't, I don't know if you tuned into it or whatever, but Trump had a yeah. little... What's, what's up? Well, that shit, it's it's false. Like, it can't happen. It's impossible. Like, it's... um, It's just for show. Sure. You can't really... He can't really do it. But think it's about like, this. If we go back to Obama and his presidency, it was a couple of times that because remember the house was overran by Republicans, he had a couple of executive orders where he just signed shit and it went through. But the reason why they're saying it's illegal is because they're saying nobody else agrees with it. But it's no, I I don't think they're gonna find nothing illegal in it. But I'm trying to figure out like what you mean that he can't do it. Like, what is your like Lad, especially the part about the taxes and shit. You can't executive order your way to like increase or decrease taxes. That, yeah, that's um, and that's exactly that's what I was. That's a that's unconstitutional. That was in the shit. I don't think you could executive order those things. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like he can't, he can't do certain things because it's unconstitutional. Like only Senate and uh, um can can do the, these things and. Are uh, certain things that he can, but you still need Congress to do it. Like, so I feel like um, a lot of things that that he did, that executive order, order is is more for show than anything else because he knows that his lawyers knows that he can't. Like, hey, <laughs> in that same breath, I was telling my wife that it's the same thing with the Democrats. I feel like both sides, what they're doing right now. Is acting like they're gonna do something, and the more exactly we're no, that we're like we're just waiting for you to vote for one of us, and then we're gonna stop doing everything. Of but course, right now we're in like a weird limbo situation where we gotta pretend, like hey yo yeah, 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 we're trying to give you the money, man, but they don't want us to give you the money. Like what you were saying, of course, yeah, it's executive order is to look good in front of us. Yep, exactly. It's all um, it's all a game. It's not. It's not like. None of these motherfuckers really, really care. Like they trying to, they trying their best to stay in power and to stay wealthy. That's that's about it. And, and to help their folks out while they in the power. Exactly. Yeah. It's not. It's not really like they throw a little bones here and there so they can get their, uh, um, you know, uh, um, votes to keep their powers. That's about it. Like they don't, they don't really care like that. Um, niggas be so, niggas be so worried about making history and all that fuck shit. Yeah, that shit don't impress me no more, man. <laughs> it don't. It don't. Like very, very few politicians um, on the federal level is really there to to make a difference. And the thing about it is, even if they started out that way, um, to get to that level and shit, once you get there and stuff like that, it's really hard to maintain that. So, right, this lady wreck. Uh, this lady wrecked it so bad when it come down to that prison shit, man. But the thing is, but I kind of get it though. Hey, I kind of don't, don't go back on her yet, cause I'm. But we're not going on her yet, cause mm -hmm. I want Swab to be in here, cause I don't. You got to. He, 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 he here right now. Yo, he just Yali, 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 tell everybody, tell everybody later. Say, hey, I fuck with y'all later. Later. Everybody on the podcast. Look, look, you holly. Everybody waving at you. You see that? That's little Haiti up there. That's my dog Scoot right there. My dog Swab right here. She no Scoot, man. She seen you. She's <laughs> waving at you, nigga, because she heard you talk. She like she definitely knows Scoot. I ain't seen La Haiti in a little minute, so she don't know La Haiti, but she happy. Mm -hmm. She happy. Like, <laughs> and shit. Hey, she used to mug. She used to mug me, boy. I think she nicer now. <laughs> she getting older, nigga, so she 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 chilly. But now nah, she mean as fuck because we we had it in the car today. Me and my wife was like, "Hey, y'all need to stay at the house by yourself." <laughs> Yo, bro, look, Swag, we was waiting for you to come in so we can speak on this. Swag, bro, are you ready? Because I don't want to go on to Kamala Harris. I, I don't know if you know anything that I know, but do you uh, do, do, do you want to do this right now? Are you ready? Are you willing to get to the spot or some shit? Wait, what happened? What you asked me? Because I heard you speaking on Joe Biden. You asked us, did, do we know what Sl Sleepy Joe did? Oh, yeah. I was trying to say, you know, Joe Biden had uh, pointed that little half black, half Asian, half bear. <laughs> 
Damn. It's, it's, it's crazy oh. how it's just the timing. Because I don't want to take nothing away from whatever political shit she had going already, whatever trajectory she was on. But Bullshit. the timing of it is just crazy to me how he's trying to secure this black vote. And then he just happens to put the first black female um, vice presidential candidate in this shit. That shit is weird to me, bro. It seemed like some pandering at a high ass level. Oh, they it's all about demographic and shit like that. They they um uh, it's strategically uh they should strategically strategically did that to to like get to appeal to certain demographics, you know. Uh they need the strong they need the female votes. For sure. They need the the secure the black votes. Mm-hmm. They need to uh, uh secure uh, um a certain demographics. That's why this uh, um on some real shit, I thought that um, the former candidate, uh, George's candidate, would have. Uh, I thought that's who he was gonna go with, like um, the Karen Bass, that lady. Uh, I can't remember her exact name. Tell me, the other black lady though. Yeah, because I feel Is like it? she's. No. I feel like she's not. She uh, um. She would be better because she's she's not used to like uh, um being in Wall Street. Uh, well, she's not used. She's not in Capitol Hill. Like she she's not uh, um tainted uh, by Capitol Hills yet. She she would she would come in fresh with fresh ideas and Hold stuff on, like you that. You talking about Lance so like Bottom? Like to say some shit right now, boy. Stacy Ab- no, I'm Stacy Abrams. Oh, Stacy Abrams. Okay. Stacey yeah, Abrams. that's who. That's who I um I thought. The governor. Or, yeah. The former governor candidate. That's who I thought um, he was gonna go with. Hey, but matter of fact, it, 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 we did a podcast before. Me and Scoot was laughing about how she got mopped by the racist <laughs> white dude in Georgia. But what I was saying is how she didn't concede. And I was asking Scoop, I was like, "Hold on, why this bitch ass nigga Andrew Gillum concede?" And it was only a one percent difference. And that's how I knew that black man was getting real weak. But keep on talking, go ahead. Yeah, um, I feel like. She would have been better because she's not tainted with Capitol Hill yet. Like, um, but but I kind of get why um, bad um, Biden picked um, um, Harris because um, no one can say uh, she doesn't have enough experience. Um, sure. She can, yeah, she can. She can go ahead and and you know secure the black votes, the female votes, the educated female votes, and the white people who are. On a fence about uh, about uh, um, Trump, she can get those votes also. So I feel like that's why he picked her. So I ain't mad at it. It's a, it's a good chess move, but on some See, real shit. Not I'm trying to figure out what Scoop saying because I feel like that was sort of kind of a bad chess move. But oh, but 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 that they're not gonna vote for him because he didn't pick Stacey. But to, that's what I thought. But, you... but but to sort of kind of agree with Lahady, you remember what um, Swab sent us in a group chat about what how a chick felt. Yeah. So like it's practical that people are now looking at Biden as oh all right he chose this black lady let's go. Right. He had to choose any black lady, but he chose the wrong black lady. The wrong black lady, I think. For sure, he he chose somebody. He chose somebody with a bad track record. But I told you, Hollywood. But like 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 I say, it's same thing with Hollywood. It's the same thing with this presidential bullshit, bro. It's about fucking what group you was with, what what motherfucking fraternity you was in. You cannot just be a random bro, scoop. I'm trying to tell you the same thing with basketball. It's it's very few random niggas that ain't got some type of tie to this league that's in the league. I'm just being honest to y'all, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. It's very few niggas that mom ain't play or dad ain't play. It has to be some type of direct connection to where, oh, nah, bro right there went to Lee or he tried out for the NBA. And he, you feel me? It has to be more direct connections, bro. And that's what I always be trying to tell Scoop. So, like, in this same shit w- 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 with Joe doing this shit, to me, it, it seemed disingenuous because he basically crossed out every candidate. So it wasn't even like who was the best. Like, he, he, he didn't even go to who was the best. He was like, hey, I'm choosing a woman. And I'm choosing somebody basically black, even though he had that one little white lady in there. We all knew what it was. Yeah, we exactly. But everybody knew how, what it was. How can he publicly do that thing and we still okay with it? Like that. That's why I be like that. That's my problem with the Democrat. Like the same thing with, with Hillary Clinton. 
uh, with the hot sauce on the breakfast club. How can we publicly have people do this to us and we sit down and blah, ha, 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 ha. I put this shit on everything. The What's thing up? is, we we want to be accepted. Ooh, like we we want to be oh, accepted. A like, word. He used like, the A word on the podcast. They might demonetize us. Yeah. No, nah, like whoever show us love and stuff like that. Show like even if they don't care, like show us some type of uh, of recognition and stuff like that. We should quick to it. like dismiss everything else mm-hmm. and and go for it and. The Democrats have been using that shit for decades. Like I thought we was off that by now after we seen it fail though. Bro, we seen a black but I'm trying to tell you, most people that you talk to, they don't keep up with track records. They're gonna tell you look bullshit. I'm trying to tell you the only thing y'all can tell me is that the man let out a few people for non-violent crimes. But Trump is freeing all these fucking white people from jail, bro. Why the fuck Obama ain't free? Goddamn, not nobody, not no goddamn Black Panther, not no goddamn Black Panther. Yeah, like he ain't do nothing to nobody. He ain't Honestly, get off Asada. He ain't do nothing. Bro, this nigga. Did, did you know this nigga Biden called him a a clean or clean cut articulate, bro? <laughs> but they were running again. <laughs> how you let how how you let him call you that, bro? Because you remember what type of bro Biden was. Biden was that type of guy. That's how he was giving it up on Obama. You remember that that race? That race was tight. It was him. You remember Sarah yeah. Palin? You remember Sarah him? fucking Palin? I don't remember Biden that much. I just remember him, Biden and Mc- him, Sarah and McCain. I don't remember Joe that much. Nigga, now. Sarah Palin, Sarah Palin yeah. was the first Trump. You remember how retarded yeah. she was? She was slow as fuck. Oh my gosh. Yo, T. Hey. What's up? You just, I, I was trying to just watch the live while I'm sitting here and <laughs> damn shit. And you spoke on some shit that I've been feeling like, bro. Like, what's up? How the fuck we had a whole first black president, bro? He wasn't just up there standing up talking about goddamn all the black shit we had, bro. Going, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, bro, you know what's crazy? People kill him forever talking about he can't do that. It's going to make him look a certain way. Man, Trump came in that bitch and he said what he wanted to say. But who he talking about? Hey, that's what I was telling little Haiti about the executive orders. Obama dropped a couple executive orders. Like the gay shit, the Republicans was not on oh, it. yeah. Obama that's was like, no, executive order this, nigga. This ain't right. Like, he executive order, no like, three or four shit. Us, though. Like, you Nothing. Put Exa- like, no, exactly. Like, that shit wild, wow, bro. Exactly. You're not lobbying. Like, you don't have money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Well. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> so, ahead, that that is so true. true. She's right, like, though. That's what I said about them. That is so true. Positions. But that's why I can't respect our black leaders, because they got money. Nigga, uh, not, no, that's man. my problem not with, with T.I. and a lot of these oh, motherfuckers boys, that we hey, think hey, got money. They don't want to put their really money Bruh. where their mouth is. They just I wanna just told these shit. boys that I wanted to wait for you with this exact topic. That's why I asked oh, you, y'all you y'all ready. Oh, y'all want to wait till I leave because I'm going to drop some gunshots right there. Bro, I was asking you, was you ready for the Kamala? in the backyard. Because I knew the Kamala was going to get serious because I told you, like, as soon as you sent me, I was like, oh, man, maybe Swallow don't know her track record with arresting black people for no reason. Bro, you don't understand me. Well, I was serious coming. she was. You know, I was oh, coming. You, all right, all right. So man, we wait all till knew. I get there. Wait till and I get there. Getting high. No. Getting high. Getting high. We, we are. <laughs> Look at school. <laughs> getting high. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Nigga, we, hey, we all on the same topic. Babe, we, I remember I had some real estate questions for my dog, bro. Hey, but Bo, like, what, what you thinking about as far as with the bubble shit, like, because y'all boys not betting, I don't want to shout nobody out, but I'm going to send y'all boys some sites and shit. I don't know if y'all betting on no basketball game, but I feel like if y'all watching the basketball game, y'all might have bet, bet on some basketball game. It's a fight coming up, nigga. They saying if you bet a dollar, they paying you $212 if you win. So that means you could bet damn near $100 and possibly make $2,012. So I'm just trying to do your thing, bro. So I'm, 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 saying, so bad. I'm gonna send y'all the information, but it's, it's, it's exactly uh, uh, that fight right there, Scoop. But it, it's another fight that's gonna be coming soon. I'm pretty sure it's Israel Adesanya and the other little buff fucking the wait, wait, nigga. But that's that shit like um, September though. Oh, that that fight is in September. All right, well it might wait, not be that fight, but I'm pretty sure it's U, UFC 250. Let me make yeah. sure I check the number, bro. But oh, no, I'm definitely like. Watching that shit, though. I, I love the UFC, especially Adesanya. That, that nigga's you, fucking. You fucking with Adesanya? It's oh, the yeah. confidence. What about Yo, Dano? that nigga beating that, like a skinny ass nigga beating all the buff bros. Like, he just knocking niggas out. Never Did you see Nganu, though? Nganu? Um. No, I didn't see that fight. Who did he Man, is Nganu is sleeping everybody. He just fought some random buff nigga last fight, nigga, and he knocked them out in like eight seconds. Hit the nigga with the mustache? 
Who you talking about? Engano or you talking about the nigga that he knocked out? I'm talking about some nigga with a mustache got knocked out by a skinny nigga. Oh, that about <laughs> oh, no nigga with a Engano, mustache. what weight class is Engano? Is that the Nigerian dude? Uh uh-uh. uh. That's the Nigerian dude that I always think is Haitian. But he not Nigerian though. He um he from Cameroon. Cameroon. That's why I always think he's Haitian. You know, Cameroon is a French colony. So he so he got um, the same delivery. I think he, he fought that dude from, from Miami. Um um who because if you're talking about Jorge Masvidal, you're talking about a smaller weight class. No, 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 no. Masvidal. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Then, then nah, we're not yeah. talking about this. But yeah, I just wanna that that nigga is the face. Like John Jones lost, I, I feel like lost lost his spot. Now, why are you saying that about my boy John? See, this is, this he, is, he's not fighting. This is a good, thing. but every time he fight, he destroyed bro, and he destroyed everybody in his weight class. Like, and the thing is, that's it, my boy. Yeah, ain't no fight set up for him. Yo, he this just, nigga, like, he destroyed three bros last year. John John should have been, like, no doubt the greatest um, uh, um, MMA fighter. Hey, of he's all still time. undefeated though. But the thing is, not fighting consistently enough, man. Like he's like his. He had to vacate his belt like twice already. Like for drugs. No. <laughs> this nigga got to stay. Not even for drugs. Like for a car accident. Real like, you know, real shit. Weird shit. Like I don't know. Like I feel like, and this Ben Silva is the greatest fighter I've ever seen. The most talented fighter for sure. The most talented, yeah, yeah. yeah. But John John had the talent. Like this man has no weakness. No weakness. The wrestling, everything he could do. No weakness whatsoever. But this nigga, like, like he's not consistent enough. Like not not as far as his performance, but staying and fighting and stuff like that. In, in uh, like, prove his points. Like every night, his legacy has asterisks on it. Yeah, I, I I totally agree with what you're saying, but I still don't think they'll beat that man, boy. That but man, think, so, boy, he's so busy, bro. Like, I'm talking about he's not even training, bro. I feel like if he put any focus to anything, bro, he destroyed them boys because confidence, bro. Like, I tell you, I always speak on confidence, bro. And I know for sure he know that they could beat him. Like, when I hear Israel at the science say he got to clear out of class and then go up to John Jones, I know he's scared of him at the moment. So maybe eventually course, he might get that confidence. Is- yeah, huh? he's like 20 pounds uh, um, uh, um, For sure. under. That's but, a lot of weight. But Israel be talking big boy shit. And I'm saying, I feel like if John, like DC, DC way bigger than John Jones. But John Jones going there with him and work him out. And I feel like John Jones is going there with Ngannou and any of them boys either and work him out too. But it just depends on like what you paying me, bro. Like I'm at a level I, I now. Think, I think John Jones dropped to 185. Mm-hmm. If that nigga dropped to 185, Israel, I just think 